What's good, guys? What's going on, man? All right, so we're back. Uh, what was this episode three? Episode three. Yes, episode sir. three. Live on the Extreme GMS show. We're back in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, first thing I want to say, real quick, and then we can just we can get right into it. Is y'all that we asked to help name the pod, y'all failed. <laughs> or <laughs> so let's try again. Let's try again, mother. Y'all failed real bad. And, and I'm live on IG right now too, so all, any of my uh, IG people, if you want to help us name this podcast, you can by all means throw your throw your suggestions in the comments. Yeah, we still need somebody to, to throw some gold out there, man. So put some in the chat. And make sure you you think about it first. Also, we started hearing this for the first time. We're not going to combine our names in any way. We're right. not be calling it the Jay Quan Show or the <laughs> show. <laughs> or the or the Quan or the Quan Jake Show. Yeah, no, nah, we're not doing that. And we're the time stick. We are never calling it the Black Stick. I was <laughs> <laughs> that shit. That shit was funny as hell. He, he, he was dead serious about it too. <laughs> he was. He was. And I get because it would definitely bring uh, it would probably get some attention to it. He called him, he called himself Black. Well, I told y'all. Adam 22 Jr., I told y'all. Yeah, yeah, that's what they already say. All right, let's get into it, man. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. So let's let's get into the, I mean, let's get into the, the big event of the weekend. We have 50 Cent here. Right, so let's say part. Final lap tour, man. Yeah. yeah 50, Busta Rhymes, Jeremiah. I think that's it, right? Everybody else? I think that's it. That's pretty much it, yeah. Gay Hall, we see. Um, and obviously, if you're from uh, Minnesota, you know that uh, there's, there's footage for you. And if you're from Minnesota, you know uh, that you know the, the producer and the CEO over here at Live on Lake Street has a connection with you. And so, of course, the link up happened. So, that was a special moment, too. That's like, what? It's two weeks in a row, man. Two weeks in a row, you done linked up with some power, man. Actually, the legend 50 cent. And it's not the first link up with you. Right. Yeah. So first of all, that's something I've been wanting to ask for a while before we get to the, the most recent link up with you. I said, how, just explain to people, because I know we on my channel as well, explain to people how you got in touch with 50 the first time. Um, The first time I got into 50, I was about 200 and what was it 250 pounds in 350 days or no actually i lost 100 pounds in 100 days first and then that's when i reached out to him because if you read his book it teaches you everything you need to know like how to get in touch with 50 cent and all of those type of things and so it just tells you how to differentiate yourself and one of those people's in the comment So, like it literally says like don't do that yeah, like it, it tells you word for word don't do that and that's how you can reach those so I, any like sports of encouragement feel like that's our voice phone yo uh if you call it your best book you need to come Lady, uh, I went to sleep, woke up on my page, he dropped a comment saying like, yo, uh, congratulations on 100 pounds and 100 days, a lot of hard dedication, stage, but, and everything like that. Hey, all pretty much hard work, dedication, and grind, so I did that, I hit him, uh, in his inbox, I could not get in contact with him, he gave me a number, and then, um, like three weeks later, he just got his tour. You know, with his and liquor. The first tour day was a little bit Uh, 
at uh, this time, uh, at the Explore Energy Center, there wasn't really much uh, extra action. So, yeah, I was going afterwards, so it was really just a lot of fun. It uh, actually was going to get on the podcast, and we're going to talk about the tournament. Somebody want me not looking for the whatever. Now I said, oh, whatever. But, you know, and um, like the photo, that's the one that's the one that's the one that's the one Coming towards you, fucking flailing their fist and shit. It's yeah. almost, yeah, yeah. No, you, you watch out. You do shit, to, you know, squash shit. We got mosh and they will fight you. Yeah. But they, <laughs> all of those people that are in mosh pits, that's exactly what they want to fight. Well, you're going to get your wish, motherfucker. You start, <laughs> you start, you start windmill punching towards me and shit, banging your head. You do shit, end up real. Yeah. That shit is terrifying. That's why, that's another thing, man. I reached the age where I go to concerts. I have to either get VIP or I have to like get in a random standing spot where I'm not in the middle of the crowd that's either doing the, the a point to jump in or the, the, the C thing where they're moving like the whole C where everybody's uncontrollable. You're just sitting there like a big wave of people and shit. I can't stand that. First of all, there not be no niggas over here <laughs> brushing up against my ass trying to get to the front of the fucking stage. I don't. And there are. That's why I stay my ass to the back. Yeah. I stay my ass to the back. I'm not I'm not with all that shit. 
Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm cool. I'm chilling. If I got me a drink, I got me a beer or something, I'm kicking it. I'm enjoying the music. I mean, I agree. I'm not trying to be around any situation. And also, we trying to build a next month. It's good. Like, yo, come backstage and we just kick back there. Watch the show from the side. I'd rather that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck that other shit. I agree. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Of all people, I just don't know. Because if it's security gonna handle it, he's gonna handle it. Like well, then that's the layer right there. It's there's security. That's the venue security. Then there's fifty security, and then there's Tony Yeo mm-hmm. and Uncle Murder. Yep. And then it's me. Yep. So it's like you reach the final boss. It's not gonna go well. No, but not at all. You gonna be <laughs> you gonna be over here with one eyeball on your cheek. I got some stuff. I made it through the churches. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm just kidding. I'm a fan. I love you. I'm like, that's what's crazy about like, it. Is you <laughs> rush the stage because you're a fan, not because you want to get my house. He's not good. 50 seconds. Hey, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's crazy. Hey, man, you had all right seats. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Try to be the parking. Well, that's that's not, not just for man. That's tough right there. I saw it. Is that the chandelier they put up there? Some of it. That's really cool. Oh, that's at the XL. Get out of here. It was normally there, I don't think, but they did decorate some extra. Big outs for all the confetti and all that shit. Yeah. Damn, man. Lucky motherfucking you. <laughs> that is 50's last. I yeah. Get Richard Die Trying is not just a staple, bro. It's like one of the best rap albums ever of all time. I mean, just albums, bro. Like, oh, yeah, it's, like, it's more than than you're right. It's bigger than an album. It's bigger than just an album. There was key components to making that album what it was that was outside of rap, in rap. It had nothing to do with rap. It was like, it was like all over the place with that shit. You could yeah. argue it's the most impactful rap album of all time. I don't necessarily think I would personally say it is the most charted. Think about what it did to music. For one, it fucked up hip hop in New York. Oh my god! I was just about to say, think about what it did to New York. Completely fucked it up. Turned it, turned all of New York into bully ball. Everything just got disgusting. You had to go at somebody, or else what were you doing in at the time? Not to mention signed by. Great White Hope, and oh, yeah. Ooh, right. at that time, nobody bigger than rap, other than maybe, who? Ja Rule. At the time, yes. At the time, at the time, time he pulled yes. up and fucked up ja- He pulled up and fucked up ja Rule. And that, Don't you think that's a, a, a crazy, like, a crazy stain on his legacy? On Ja's legacy? Yeah. Or his? Ja. Like, it's... It, it, as much as we know from the creation group here was and knowing Ja Rule's impact, there is a greater, and that's the thing with 50, I feel like he has that mindset, the long game, cause if this motherfucker is going to do something, he's going to make sure the longevity of what he does sticks. It's got to it's gotta be some longevity to it. So him doing what he was doing, I feel like he knew that there was another generation coming up. And what they were going to see was that and not really pay attention to his individual accolades. They just want to pay attention to the beat and what happened. And because 50 has such an upper hand in that situation, and because he was so I don't give a fuck, Ja Rule was just going to lose that man. He was definitely losing the fuck. So, and I think about this a lot, because here's what, here's the thing. Now, anybody that's in my age bracket, I don't ever want to hear your lies. We love the job. We love job. I love job. There was a point. I would say he might have been my favorite artist at the time when all this shit started happening. Yeah. So, and I said it before, and I've heard a lot of people take, say the same thing, but job was a pretty difficult thing. It was the same. He had the same effect. Same formula type Same shit. formula, same effect, same. He was, he was Drake before Drake. Without a doubt. 
was he was the, he was the raspy voice version of Trey Price. Right. I mean, yeah, that sounded like, but he was the rapper singing on record. When he's on course, he's his own house, you know, doing the love songs, talking to the ladies. You know, like, like he was great. He created that formula. Yeah. He didn't create it, but he made it. Big, he made it big. Do you think if uh, John also, was beige? Your question, Dad, I think, I think if Ja Rule was Drake, clear. <laughs> that, that beef would have went somewhere else. It wouldn't have been so harsh on Ja Rule, man. It might be a problem, but yeah. it also could have made it worse. Yeah, could have made, made it could have made it worse in a lot of ways, man. But, I, but what I will say is, I was a big Ja Rule fan, but when it became the biggest, to the point where I was a fan of Ja Rule. <laughs> it started Ja Rule. I was a really big fan. I just kind of threw his ass away because he told me to. Yes, exactly. That's what I mean. That was, that was the, the long just man, yes. of the impact that he caused on Ja Rule's career. Yes. Made it so that if anybody, even the people that wanted to listen to Ja Rule, thought twice about it. Oh, yeah. The, the riding around with the windows down, bumping Ja Rule, over. That shit was over. As over as R. Kelly. He walked past that guy. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> you didn't say top. Yeah, you drive past the Jar Rule. No. Turn that down, press next on your mix CD and turn up. up. Straight, <laughs> up <a little> and <laughs> that, that was the most fucked up part too, was that people was burning CDs and they had to decide if they were going to put conflicting artists on there. And they did because they wanted to be able to listen to one song without be around, also play the song where they were around everybody. And that's what Ja Rule's career turned into for a nice little moment after him. That's that. It was. We never seen we never seen no shit like that before. No. Not like that. I enjoyed like it. That. I enjoyed that shit. It actually I think <laughs> due to 50, that's like the reason why more people kind of get Known to each other. Yeah. He's the he is the pioneer of the IG lobby. Yeah. <laughs> but but without him actually having to participate in it, it's just kind of like was the offspring of being the person that was so engulfed with him. And he still does it. That's the funny yeah. part. He still does it, but he does it in such a way that like it's just impressive. Yeah, oh we got comments. Yeah, see, yeah. Turn that going. What they said? Mm -hmm. Does it still sound that way? No. What y'all are saying? It's clear now. Okay, that's good. Clear now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see somebody dropping comments. Uh, <laughs> that a box. Long ass one. They want y'all to check them out. Play the music, yeah. That's how they, that's how they get on without having to go to the DMs. It works. It really works. It has the same effect as tagging me and 99 other people. That's my favorite thing, by the way. Let's keep doing that. Tag you with 195 people in there. Please keep doing that so I know who to block. That shit is insane. I, didn't, I hate the fact that people still do that today. It's crazy. I hate it so much. And I, and I don't even have the energy to like take my tags off. I just, oh. I, 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 does that stay on your page? Uh, or like, no, or it depends on your settings. My settings make it so it does not go on my page. I honestly got laid on my page. Yeah, I'm not a lot of you. I usually uh, remove as a friend. I don't know who it is. You can see, now there's a couple sympathies. I, oh, I guess I won't say sympathy, but it's like a couple people who I know and I, you know, being this solid individual, where it's just like, all right, cool. But niggas I don't know, I know, talk to whoever. Yeah, Louis Blaze does that shit, and it puts me off. Y'all not talking? Uh, he talks. He's under the illusion, he talks the illusion that you guys have a cordial relationship enough to where he can send you the links and be like, here, man, check this out. We definitely do have that, or at least have had that. Because I got to the point where I just like send them to the people that I like, you know, conversate with, or like every once in a while, chop a little bit. I don't really like doing the 
spam shit. I learned from that. Well, just I mean, word to word to anybody out there that does like, that's never it's never much better off having a private conversation. Okay. And honestly, don't just send me a link either. Like, say something. Say something. Like, make it personal. Why don't you just send me a link? Yeah, when I first started, I, mean, I, get? I used to like just completely just every time I drop a song on SoundCloud, copy, paste. You just keep pasting it towards like people's ads and shit, like trying to send it. And I was like one of the worst spammers of my music back when I first started. So bad that they started flying. Yeah, they're gonna do that. That's the thing. Is that's what I learned from. Yeah, I just learned from my own mistakes. I'm sorry, uh, people. That's a that's a good option to come back with the team. A center, spammer, spammer comments. Like it's fucking whiskey with mom. She's got a fucking A and R white center music <laughs> to play. You know what I'm saying? I was just so like I just hope my music gets somewhere. I'm sorry. That is a little bit wild. Yeah, that's right. You were young, just like right. I was just trying I'm black. That's why. Hell no. Nah. Damn, she, she never about thought you. about that again. She, she was a random person this on guy's Twitter. This guy's got to go. Sure, cloud. She said, block. Bye. Lit the J and kept moving on with life. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. So uh, what, can you talk to me about this? Because I don't really know much about it. I saw it, but I didn't listen to it because I don't really like either artist anymore. But What's blue, going on? Blue face, go all baby. Neck. Pause. Uh -huh. Pause. Oh, shit. He said, how you let another grown man <laughs> fill up on your booty? <laughs> he said, you look, man. I think that uh, Blue Face is one of the most uh, on time people when it comes to controversy. As far as like when shit pops off, it's almost like he has it already in the tuck. Yeah. Or he just has it to where he just has the right people around him. <laughs> and they can record this shit and put that shit up as quick as they could. But, uh, yeah, little baby did it first. He did it right after. Can, we play, can you play it for me? Can we get this up on the screen? I need it's to see funny. that. It's funny. It's funny. Scoop help. Uno loaded up. Now I'm locked. In and out the drug. Two calls on the verge. Bitch, I'm drunk. Just give me a burger. Yeah, but if you don't take it far, it won't go further. I got baby mama drama and problems on her. I signed both. Be my much prop. Supreme got the link. No, no. You trying to be big bro, all right. I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to hear the I'm not gonna be able to hear it. That's right. I don't need to hear it. You said enough. Yeah. He so, got his big black cock. Can't shoot a porn. I ain't fucking with no TikTok. I ain't gonna chill. This is a pit. You better screw me. Baby sending DMs. He's hated him ever since. But it's crazy because you supposed to. Group full of group. Big little baby thought he knew. No. <laughs> How you let another grown man fill up on your booty? Couldn't be me, boy. I ain't not a hoochie. Really I ain't really in the streets. I ain't really in the streets. No, I think I saw that. Oh, that man had a nigga last week. On schoolyard. On schoolyard, dad. I don't really sh** nigga last week. No kizzy. I keep killers all around and they with me. Socked the nigga last week and he stabbed me. You better grab him. Don't grab me. Every time I catch a body, I'm happy. I don't want to go to jail because he grabbed me. At night time, all these hoppers are like dangerous. What is up with these rich dudes that feel like they can like test the waters with niggas from the hood when they like sign them or be in like the same place as them or like those rich parties and shit? They be, they be trying to test the waters, bro. What can I get away with? It feels like when you watch like the the video recaps of those things or like the the footage. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the scene in Get Out. A little really, bit. you know what I'm about to the get on there, having a little get to the part of the guy in the backyard. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, that's what kind of reminds me of. It's like really? white people showing off their black friends to other white people. Ex exactly. Yeah, that's what it looks. Exactly. That's what it looks. Like. That's how it feels. Yeah. 
it's a little. But, <laughs> but that also that's, might. <laughs> that's perfect that you said. That's real shit though. That really is. Yeah. That's not, that's how it be. But also at the same time, and I get, I understand. Like I'm a white dude saying this, but on some level, kind of. I mean, it's it's wrong and it's weird, but it also is a sign of like, nah. Uh, Depending on who next scene. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Speaking of yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. See, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bring it up on air, but just know that experience in in a in a very small form earlier before we went live. It's a get out moment, man. A real get out moment. This person though, they weren't trying to hide it. They just they came out blatantly and said it. You know, if you if you get some of these people inebriated, <laughs> maybe they be able to you know really speak they truth. You, you know, play it. You won't play it though. Oh my god, I, <laughs> bro! If I if if I if I message this nigga and say, hey, I'm live on Lake Street right now. <laughs> would you allow me to play this clip so you can? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! No, nah, I mean we don't need we don't need to play it. It's, I don't even matter of fact we shouldn't play it. No, no we don't need I, all that. I don't want to wait for uh wait for the green light either. Yeah, no, nah, we don't. And I feel oh, like yeah. he's too busy sending it to a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> he is fabricated right now. Yeah. Um. So, does any of this the blue little baby situation? Clout. That's it. Clout clicks and cunts. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. It, that's all that goes with it, man. <laughs> That's for real. Can you even say that? I don't know. If you can shit, say I that. said it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I told you, man. I've been up from 3 a.m. Yo. Motherfucker. If this, this is if this was that's the title of the podcast right there. Clout yeah. clicks and cunts. That's it. it. That's, that's, it. It. that's the title. And yeah. I'm telling you, bro, this is what I see now, man. Cause it's like these guys, Blueface is the like I said, he's the he's the maximum capitalizer. He can go and when something happens, he's not afraid, he's not gonna shy away from speaking on talking about some shit he's not even afraid to say oh i felt this way but i think it's even more so because he knows that like people are going to run with it over here people are going to like try to spin the narrative over here he knows now and this is not even a bold statement this is facts blue is a career is a rap it's on ad right now correct the only thing like we were talking about earlier when it comes to music bro the only thing that matters when it comes to his style of music and what he's doing is the gimmick behind it? What's the around. image behind it? Yep. People watch that video with him and Krishan like, ooh, this shit hard. They watching it because it's like, oh, they just reunited after yes. talking all this shit. Let's see what happened. Yes. And now these two random motherfuckers are fighting over MILF music right now. <laughs> MILF music. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's how dumb these motherfuckers are. Y'all both are now technically MILFs. Y'all both have kids with this guy. Yep. Y'all both are mothers. Y'all can both be a part of MILF music, but y'all don't want to be joined together. Clearly, y'all with somebody who's pimping you. <laughs> Might as well <laughs> fall in line. Shit, what the fuck? I hey, mean, man, we... get your people together. What's up with them, man? <laughs> What's up with what them, man? <laughs> get to... <laughs> That's like saying? the comment scene. Somebody calling me Adam 22. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the hell they call you Adam? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Hey, don't worry. Uh, I remember the first episode, somebody said I had thighs like Flacco. Hey, bitch, I don't have <laughs> oh, I don't have Flacco thighs, okay? Flacco <laughs> thighs each could carry uh, two whole loads of laundry. I don't got to hear y'all compare my thigh to Flacco, nigga. That nigga th if Thunder Thighs was a person, I know that nigga's circulation all fucked up every time he get off from that chair and fuck no jumper, man. Um. <laughs> I just, can I just, we just need to remind the people just by the way Blueface is the father of a child a, a young male child yeah. named Krishan Jr. I just wanted to remind <laughs> just quick like, quick I, trust me it's, that name's gonna get changed you think? that name is going to get changed how though easy it's just gonna take nothing but a little bit of time and manipulation and a little bit of looking down and that name is gonna get changed like that trust me trust me if, if if you if you see what's going on with these individuals there is nothing off the table that's true so you're right about that I, i'm just i'm calling it like i see it the baby's gonna get changed he's probably gonna name like 
schoolyard blue or some shit and call it a day. Schoolyard blue. <laughs> blue, yeah. face. blue face. He said he what? He said he really shot in there last week on schoolyard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he put it on schoolyard. He put it, it's got it's gotta be true then. You put it on schoolyard, nigga. You can't lie. So since, <laughs> so since they're calling me Adam Twenty Two, let's talk about this Adam Twenty Two. Oh, great! Segue. That is a great. Segue. I appreciate y'all. Shout out the chat. Yeah, shout out the chat for I'm Adam Twenty Three. <laughs> All right. Um, so academics is on Adam Twenty Two's ass, and look like, well, I I still don't really know what to say to be honest with you. I, it looked like no jumper was kind of free falling right it looked like no jumper was on its way down mm -hmm. i don't know if i think anymore I, now that academics is on its head it could be a little that that's not a good thing for adam did oh. they just say man they are you know, that Yo, Harry's about to, Harry's about to <laughs> go out the roof, man. So I'm like, see, it, that proves me right. It was dying. They said, fuck it. We need academics. And you know what else? You know what else proves my point that they that they trying to bring it back to academic help? It's because of the whack 100 shit. Mm -hmm. This is how I know Adam shit is dying. First of all, you added whack 100 to the platform. Any other time on party where Adam felt like you needed I've, Somebody I've, said they can't hear I've us talk on the those, videos. Anymore. I've okay all right cool Just but um sure. there's no point ever before this before those guys dipped out the people that's on fig community and uh and community before they dipped out he never was like yo i'm planning on bringing whack over even had the thought of trying to bring him to be a co-host yep. it's because he keeps bringing on these random dudes and he's trying to stick to the formula that he had when he had people around him that he felt protected by that's why he has a lot of gang members on there is because the people that was a part of his platform before yep. safe hmm. and what and, and how i know that is from what we saw every time something happened who stand when sitting doing shit was just fighting and shit trying to figure out where to run to <laughs> but he can't because the platform yeah who's there ad t rail these motherfuckers that was in the background hmm. But see, he's feel he feels more protected. He, he doesn't feel more protected, but he still wants to keep that type of shit around him, so he does feel protected, which is another reason why he kind of talking crazy. Hmm. So Adam feel Adam feeling vulnerable. Yes. I mean, Adam is vulnerable. Yes. Yes. He he's let himself vulnerable. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Um. I used to like. I used to like. I don't think I've ever really liked Adam as a journalist or as an interviewer hmm. but i used to i definitely used to like um i liked the fact that he was able to do what he did with seemingly not that much skill in the field by you know by having connections and being himself and i feel like somewhere along the lines he lost himself yeah hey, that's liviana you better leave her alone that's mine oh you talking about he talking about oh, your girl yeah leave her alone Liviano thick ass back here with, yeah. the, <laughs> with the pink and blue on. That's mine. You can have Livion. Livion's over there. Hey man, we hey man, respect to the LGBTQ community, right. but we are not. Hey, did we get down to the bottom of that? Whoa, 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 Pause. whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Pause. Get Pause. to the bottom of what? Did they add what was it numbers? Two by eight, three, four, five, six, nine. Did you just make that up, or is that? Yeah, no, I made that up. But, okay. I'll, you but I heard, them? I heard that it was like LGBTQ plus forty-four or something. Twenty huh? uh, something. I swear I heard that niggas is identifying the numerics and shit. I what? think so. I don't know some zodiac. Shit if it something. is, I wouldn't know because they change that shit every three months. They do. They add a letter and a number and a hyphen and, and a an colon. And an animal. Yeah. And all a, types of shit. Litter box. And a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I getting, it's getting a little wild. I, I prefer not to get to the bottom of that. Yeah. It's getting, <laughs> it's getting, it's getting a little wild. Even at the surface on that shit. Yeah. It's getting, but uh thought I heard all right. as far as as far as this shit goes, man. Um Adam is one of those guys who he's willing to crash and burn he's a vulture as long as he gets those views he's a vulture he's yes. turned i don't think he's always been that but he has become that that's why i said so that interview that he had with the joe bun podcast 
You saw the reception. Yep. He's not lying about how that shit went when mm-hmm. it happened. Yep. As far like people, like yo, Adam was getting at these dudes, or Adam was holding himself down. It was yep. like that, that, and every accusation they threw at him, he had a reasoning for, or an excuse for, whatever the case may be. Yep. But you cannot beat the allegations when the actions show different. He's one of people do that. Reed is red, That's and crazy. he will try to validate his narrative with the very few Reddit comments that agree with him. Going onto Reddit to read about yourself is a whole different level of narcissism. Yeah, it is. That is crazy. And to and to bring it up in conversation, you can't do that, bro. Because you know how you be doing with his voice. I done the red. If you sitting there to <laughs> see what they say about those guys and AD and big puns fast, <laughs> they don't want to fuck with me, bro. Get the fuck. First of all, I, that's another thing I hate when people talk crazy to motherfuckers. They know they wouldn't do that with if they were in front of their face and didn't have protection. Correct. Point blank. Period. Yes. Agreed. So it's like. We know it's for attention. We know it's not for him to actually crash out and try to fight people or try to shoot out. It's because the jumper is declining and then you get back to life. Yeah, the thing that really that really took me, I was never really fully on board. Like I don't watch no jumper. I don't watch it. I didn't even what? I didn't watch that. Mm-mm. No, he no. was on Shark Tank. Was I I saw that he was oh. on there. Oh, see, Mr. Organic is actually pretty dope in the in the pod space. He is. I, I give I give him that for sure. Yeah, I saw I saw clips of this. I saw uh, Organic posted a couple clips. I saw that, but I didn't see the whole thing. So this is gonna is it? So yeah, they are. Yeah, fuck them trying from to raising their premium trying to prices sell too. They some assholes. They premium was fifteen ninety nine. They said no. Nah. We gonna charge y'all three dollars more. Y'all so, already jerking people. What's Hollywood? What's going on, Hollywood? He said, "Be way too much gang drama and messy street stuff on No Jumper." Wag don't like me in that chat. I'll be going, <laughs> and he be too sensitive. I don't think he's actually too sensitive. He knows how he just knows what to feed into to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, so. That's what also proved to me that they were dying because Wack, I don't know if he did it because he felt like the 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 narrative or the the shift was gonna happen. But bro, Wack is the biggest culture vulture. He 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 probably he he is. Wack is the he is. You know, it. culture vulture. Wack, Wack one <laughs> is definitely a very big culture vulture. Yes, and what he did at academics the other night proves it. Yeah. How do you bait your guy into spazzing out because you want more traction and more views towards a show that really brought you on and create a viewership? Yeah. Think about it. He been doing this. He been vulturing at a high level for quite some time now. When he when he when he put his foot down and stood next to six nine. Yeah, no, that's crazy. That was like and it had every okay. excuse in the world. That's when I stopped <laughs> taking anything he did or said seriously. It's like, okay, you don't. It's just you just want the money, uh, that, and that's fine. But you're a vault. I mean, he's a vulture. Like that's yeah, he is. And you can you can put whatever you want on any good. You can't you claim him to be the biggest pyro in the world yeah. and then be sitting next to six and defending this man on oh, fruits. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that's fruits. crazy. That's Y'all crazy. niggas ain't finna do shit though. That's all I, it's like nobody even wants to do shit. We just calling it out. That's that's the result that people go to when they know they can't win the battle of logic. Yeah. And and I mean, to be fair, nobody is a monolith, right? Like right. whack is other things. Mm-hmm. And some of these I'm like, yeah. Like even with the six nine shit, like I agree with why you're sitting next to him. I agree with like I agree with a lot of things he was saying, but like Don't for you. Who you showed us and told us you are to be sitting to him? It's like that. Don't be added. Yeah, you can either go in and try to call out people 
for being snitches and right. get turn around and post and some shit. paperwork. Yeah, it's like no, no. Nah. Make up your mind. I don't, I don't and, and then it's crazy because then you get to actually see how sustained work. He's a rat he's vulture. He he is he's he a is rat vulture. Yeah, he's he's what a, he is. He is a rat vulture. Yes, he is. And the only one that's above him is 1090 Jake. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 1090 is be the big and that's his, rat vulture. That's, but probably that's, his, his that's probably his source. That's probably wax source is 1090. You know what? <laughs> Wack has been uh alleged to be an informant for a very long time. <laughs> I mean, at this point. I mean, you got you you gotta look at it for what it is. Yeah. The optics is crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, way too much shit. You got videos of way too many people. You you know wait you get people's court information get, within you getting this? twenty four hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah. It's even, like he be sitting in the police station or anything. I don't know family members who are able to get people's information that quickly. Yeah, I wouldn't know how. That's that's insane. So I, I, I mean, you take you take that for what you want, motherfucker. That's that is what the craziest part about all of it to me is like how how does this happen? You get how I wouldn't know the first step. To getting paperwork on somebody, I don't know how to get it. Well, you know what? I do think the first step is pulling up with a bag. Mm. It ain't got to be a hefty one, but if somebody is in need of some money and they send on some information that you, you can use, yep. nigga, I'll slide you five hundred dollars and then go viral and then make however much money back from going on YouTube or Clubhouse or No Jumper or whatever and yeah. talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. I mean, I could see someone like like that game walking up to police in public and shaking their hand, introducing himself, and checking to see if this is somebody that I could use. I really don't think Wack feels the way that he feels, even when he's like going off and spazzing out. Yeah, I think he understands what draws people in, whether they feel like it's negative or positive. Yep. Also, I think he's the one that leaked that button nilsy picture of him laying face down, ass up in the fucking hotel, being on Clubhouse. I think he that is because he knew that that'd be a big topic of conversation. I mean, I don't. I think that, yeah. I I think that about a lot of things. I think a lot of the shit that we see from celebrities and things like that. I think a lot of that is it's planned. It's man. all planned. Yeah, and they know. I mean, they know how to shock people. <clears throat> so I want to. I kind of want to skip this one. Cause I don't think there's much to say, but the whole zoo, big zoo, and offset situation. <laughs> I don't even like. What is this? I mean, it is what it is. I like. I like how offset is moving. Yeah, you, you're right about the time spent on this topic because they wasted enough of everybody's time. Yeah, what are y'all doing? Standing on the corner waiting for somebody you thought that was gonna walk out. <laughs> yeah, really. What you thought? Yeah, what's up? What you thought? The, the mentality is here he comes, awesome. guys. The First fuck? of all, where is your leash? Big oh Zoo? My gosh. where is your leash? <laughs> Why, how did you escape from the hotel room? I bet he was frantic. Where did this nigga go? He is out here fucking up again. I have to clean up for him once again. I don't know where he's at. This motherfucker ended up getting on the ground and wiggling his fucking leash off and running outside with his homies, <laughs> talking crazy about fucking offset because of shit that's between two women. Who have been beefing for years. And what it allegedly derived from. What? How the fuck did y'all draw that conclusion? Did you see? What, <laughs> like, what? What? Oh, that's crazy that you say that, that he got off his leash. Because I swear to God, my first thought was, this is just him trying to take back some of his independence. That's all it was. Yeah, He's see- been locked up for so long, he just needed to go outside and stand on the street corner and lie. And then it's ripped. Oh my the moment gosh. he said big money, <laughs> when yeah. you stand outside talking big money, knowing that's big Nicky money, Yo. that's the Barbie's money. How do you disrespect Barbie? Okay, where's that? Nah, okay, we with you, but hold your horses with your friends. Yeah, hold your horses now. No, that was wild. That whole situation was like, why, what are we doing? And meanwhile, what's 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 off center? Hanging out with Dion, Kai, Kai and Dion. He, he's hanging out with Dion over here at sidelines, bro. <laughs> he said, first of all, he had the time of his life at Kai's house. I don't know if you've seen that shit. I did that see was, that. That was probably the most wholesome shit I've ever seen in my life. Then just turn around and get right into some glass shit that you don't need to be in, man. It's like that is that that is the forever plague for the culture, right there, bro. You see, that swear here. to God, you see. 
please. What'd she say? What'd she say? He he won't. He low key wanted to shit cheese to the white. world. <laughs> hey man. Yeah. Uh what's his name? Uh Big Zoo. Yeah. Knock it off, bro. Uh it, it looked crazy if you walked in the house and sat your wife down and said, Hey, listen here, baby. I need to borrow about 20 bands. <laughs> I'm trying to put some money on that nigga offset head. <laughs> he disrespected you. He disrespected me. And honestly, I just be a man about it. So can you wire me 20 bands, extra five for my goons, just because, you know, they held me down while we was on the live. But I got I, I got to do this. That's the wildest conversation. You no, know, sit his ass down, man. This motherfucker, if you can't, if you can't calmly walk past a school without being arrested, I think you need to, you got bigger, <laughs> you got bigger oh, problems shit. to worry about. Oh, if you can't be alone, on a playground, oh my. you have bigger problems to worry about. If you can be shown at events oh. because of your record, you have bigger things to worry about than Offset and Cardi B. I'm just saying. Agreed. 100%. Agreed. You should be fighting to get your name clear. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> That's the energy. You need to, yes. you need to tell them uh, the, the young old nigga over here with the camera, the motherfucker like he was 12 and 65 at the same <laughs> guy at the time making the weirdest noises in the fucking world. Tell these motherfuckers to disperse. Oh my god. It is time. It's oh. over, bro. It's over. Let it go. Yeah. Streets is done. Yes. It's done. And Damn. I, yeah, it's done. I don't I get it. I don't understand what's happening out here. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It's one it's one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen. Yeah. It I was uncomfortable. I was like, "Who are these? Who are these gentlemen? <laughs> are these what time gentlemen? is? What time is it? And what part of Harlem are y'all in? This is weird. They like, were, where, are, where are y'all at? They in front of a, a nice rural area. They were. They was they talking was, about were outside. There was on the block. middle aged white woman walking around, walking their dogs, helping them. Go Apologizing shit. for accidentally almost right. in the camera. <laughs> we'll talk about that too. Right. They pulled the camera away. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? For yeah, sure. You have a good day. 100%. Offset, you <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Come see us. <laughs> that happened for real. There was, there was, somebody, there yeah. was somebody that walked past during the shit. They yeah. all like looked like, bro, you just need to be done. If you had him, you're going to be embarrassed by it, but and, you don't need to do it. And live. And live. No, that was, it was crazy. And I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, miss? How's your day? <laughs> Okay, so so meanwhile, offsets off hanging out with Kai, right. allegedly cheating. Right. I don't know if you saw that part. I did see he that. It was cat though. It was they gotta cat. stop doing that to offset, yeah. man. He caused problems at home, man. How does nigga go go a live 24 hour stream and go cheat? He is not that bold. Yeah. Scared, man. Motherfucker ready be to pull the switchblade <laughs> out of this nigga already. It's over. He is terrified. That's terrified love. He's That's this, true. This, you're not you're right. You're right. He's scared. You're right. I see it in his face. It's okay though. It's okay because <laughs> because he, you know he love he love his he love her, oh, but he's just shit. a little scared. You know what I'm saying? And it, and that kind of works a little bit for people that are a little bit wild. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like a wild boy. Yeah, take somebody be a little reined in, right? For right. sure. Yeah. Wake up to Cardi B top with a knife to your neck about who the fuck calling you at this. He said his QC. It's QC. It's QC. It's big, it's big Zoo again. Right. It's Big Zoo again. It's just Kai <laughs> oh, God damn. Oh, shit. Shout out to him though, man. So yeah, so he was hanging out with Kai and then he went to the him and who else was there, man? They had Key Glock over there. They had weird ass Kawhi Leonard over there. Really? They had the Rock. Yeah, Kawhi was there. At the at the, at the game, at the oh, Colorado yeah, yeah, game, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That they Wayne, big look. Wayne, Wayne walked the team out, formed in the, the end zone. Man, like I'm not gonna lie, that is the first full game of college football I may have ever watched in my life. I don't know if you heard the the record, but they broke the record record that day, so I'm not surprised for viewership. Yes, and for was, a college and football was game, I was up till damn near one in the morning. I think they said shit. it was like. I, I hope I don't get it wrong. I, it was a one nose for sure. Either one, um, eleven, it was one nose, but it was, it was a very high million number. Yeah, who was this saying? is the most intriguing thing I've seen in college football ever. Mm. I mean, for one, Deion Sanders, obviously, you know, Coach Prime, 
Deion Sanders is my favorite athlete of all time. Oh, he's cold. Period. My Legend. favorite athlete of all time. Like, he's part of the reason I fell in love with sports in general mm -hmm. was because of him. So to see him transition from, you know, player to analyst coach mm -hmm. and, like, to just how ju him as a coach is just as electric as, as a player. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I'm watching the game because he's he's not even playing, and I watch him because of him. He getting you hype, bro. And Why then are you watching them coaches, and then he's got his two kids. Yeah, his two kids playing. First of all, Shador Shador Sanders, he's a star. Yeah. Period. He's going to be a star in the NFL. Mm -hmm. He's a star, stud, like, and cool. And then to see his kid Shiloh, the first down on reception, bro. First of all, Shiloh, you fucked up. You should have high step. You should have high stepped into the end zone and done a, in the moment. and done a little Dion dance, but still, still crazy. And then to see like how much of an event it was, like, all I just in there. This is craziness. Now it's gonna be a dope ass uh, piece in the documentary when they talk about that too later on in life for sure. Oh, and yeah. they already got the Coach Prime documentary out too on uh, on Amazon Prime. Interesting. I might yeah. have to copy that. Yeah, you definitely got to check it out. I think it's free. If you got Amazon Prime, you can watch it. But not only is he like great to watch as a coach and like how he is with his players and all that, but listening to him talking in post game press conferences and the pre games, my God, I don't know how he always knows the right shit to say. Well, I don't know if you've seen, but I just seen today. It was a video of Dion back in the day. Mm -hmm. He showed up to this church, mm -hmm. this big old church, man. My man had on the long tailed for sure jacket. Yep. Talking about the suit jacket was so low yep. that motherfucker was down to his ankles. Yep. He Did stepped he? on stage and he you would have the curl. No, 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 no. Train tracks. No, 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 okay. not, no, no, no. Okay. He, I want to say it was like a little bit in his career. Okay. But this motherfucker stepped on stage, and literally you forgot he was a Hall of Fame NFL player. Oh yeah. Turns I into, swear to God, I thought that was his church. Turns into Pastor Prime immediately. Bro, it was crazy. For sure. like, how the how do you even, You have to be a special human being to really hop into a certain mode yeah. at any given moment. Yes. And he has that. He's just an electric human being. Yeah. That's all there is to it. He's just an electric human being, and that travels through his team, through his players. Yeah. Now, I think we're going to have to calm down because they play – Oregon this week, mm -hmm. Saturday. I don't think that's gonna go well. Oh yeah, I don't think that's gonna go too. Why? 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 <laughs> what makes you think that? Sir? Oregon is a very, very good football team. Oh yeah, they are. They barely beat a really bad Nebraska team, and they needed overtime to beat the Colorado State team. And they're also missing their top receiver. They're missing their top receiver for the next three, three, four weeks. Yes, with a lacerated liver. Because of one of the most foul, dirty hits I've ever seen in my life. Very, very, very tough subject. Because <clears throat> after hearing Prime and after hearing Kevin, I believe his name, no, no, sorry, uh, Travis Hunter. Travis, yep. Travis Hunter. Yep. After hearing him speak on it and hearing Coach Prime speak on it, you kind of like, it kind of makes you want to ease up, but at the same time, I can't put it past me everything that has been going on and transpiring before that happened and mm -hmm. leading up to that. Mm -hmm. It seems like that was something we put that young and now that, now that I'm thinking about more and mm -hmm. like processing it over the past a few days, seems like they put that man in front of the headlights and did what they did as far as like you. You call you call you say it's a bounty. Oh yeah, but he had no idea. See, the 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 Blackburn kid, Henry, he didn't know that this was a hit. This was more so, you know, his coach walking walking up to him, defensive coordinator, whatever. So, this play, if you got opening, so he, was doing, he was just doing what coach said. He was doing what coach said. Somebody above coach said, "Yeah, I can see it." I definitely don't want to blame the kid. What was his name? You said Henry Blackburn. Henry Blackburn. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I, know if I want to put it squarely on the kid. I will admit, in the moment, I definitely was mad at him. I was pissed. I was yeah. yelling at my TV. Especially after, like, right after he hit him. Like, wow. he knew he hurt him, wow. and he just was like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. That was a mean ass. It was a, yeah. That was a disgusting hit. 
It's crazy. I thought he'd gone. I'm like, there's no way he could stay the game. He's picking him out. And he didn't. Then he got his fucking boots shook off for the game winning touchdown. Yeah, Which is good. Karma. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw that. I yeah. saw it right after. Got his boots smoked. Good karma. Yep. But I do think there, I mean, there needs to be some type of consequence behind that has to be and that goes down the line for everybody who decides to do that if you know it's not part of the game because that chalk to that nigga getting your liver start yeah. is not part of the game when somebody's doing something purposely to try to actually damage you like yeah. it's it's beyond the game at this point you're not just tackling him to make a tackle you're the hit happened to do some shit hit happened the way it happened because he did have the ability to hold up because normally if you're going in for a hit you're dropping yeah he didn't drop no he ran straight into him and hit him hot and it's impossible for him to because you know people talk about in the split moment and when the ball flew down and mm -hmm. went between them if you're somebody in his position in the defensive position he's a cornerback right yep or I think he was safety, but or safety, yeah, whatever he defensive, is, defensive back. You have an obligation to keep your eye on the ball yep. and the player, yep. mostly the ball. Yep. That ball came down in front of him. He's seen where that ball was headed. Mm -hmm. Another thing, you can gauge where the ball is going sure. at a certain moment, especially when it's out of range of yep. somebody catching it. Yep. You know that. Yep. So I'm not putting it past him. It was it was on purpose. But I think that he was put up to it, and he had to take the fall. Ain't nobody else going to take the fall. Yeah, and these younger guys have way less of an excuse too, because you weren't brought up playing ball that way. No, you were taught to. You were taught the new way, the new rules, the new ways to hit people. It's the not. Some of these older, these older vets out here, I get it. They're getting mad because it's like this is how I was raised, this is how I was taught. But you're 22 years old, like you haven't been taught that. You've and I think taught. it shows. I show it shows. Um, it shows primes class the way it handled the situation for sure and, and spoke on it and, and it also shows how scared people are yeah. they're scared of and i don't success. want people to think that that's a sign of weakness either because i I know there's some people that was like man why did he cover for that kid or why did he take up for him but it's like you i mean unlike a lot of the people that have been talking crazy about him and hoping that he fails he actually has a code of conduct. He does. And it's a phenomenal one because it's almost, it's like he's talking shit without talking shit. Right. He's looking in the camera going, I don't know why they keep saying it. You see what's happening. I don't know why you're talking. He's not yeah, saying nothing. I didn't hear nothing about it. He's saying something about my glasses. Uh, I don't know what the problem. And he put his, you know what I'm saying? He put, you heard he, how much how much money he made off of the glasses sales this uh -uh. week? Oh my God. I don't even know what the number total number was. We could look it up, but he sold a crazy amount of glasses this week. And that guy that had a problem with it probably boosted those sales. I'm sure. So it's like yeah. it, it's a lame ass excuse. When I was younger, yeah, my mother told me to take my hat off <laughs> and my glasses. <laughs> Guess what? We not that big living room. So shit. fuck mm -hmm. you and her. Yeah, it's Cut fine, the, nigga. Cut the prime. That's right. <clears throat> but yeah, man. It's, I mean, it's exciting. Yeah. I'm excited about it. And I love the response. I love the way everybody's responding to it. And to keep it real, I'm not trying to jump on no bandwagon either. It's not like I'm going to watch every game of, you know, what they're doing. But also, I want to support them the way that they should be supported. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, it's his year to make a statement. You know what I'm saying? They come out blazing the way that they have. Yep. I mean, we want to help to put and help their momentum. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to, I want to see them fail. I mean, I'm not saying for anybody that's like against the school or rivalry or whatever, but for the most part, it seems like a lot of people have a separate problem than it being football. And it's like, y'all just don't know who this dude is. Then. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Him. <clears throat> I mean, here's the cool part. The one thing that I will say is, um, you know, unless, unless, you know, coach prime, it's another job, at a bigger, a bigger school. Mm. Colorado State is going to be the place to be or Colorado. Excuse me. Not Colorado State. Colorado is going to be, be the place to be. He's, he's going to build a powerhouse there because what kid ain't going to want to go there now? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, me and my homie Foo, shout out Foo in the chat. Shout out. We just Fuster, yep. was talking about this. Mm -hmm. The dynamic shift is another reason why I believe that that was a call down from the higher ups. Yep. Now that the whole conversation switched, what do you think? And I, Steven, say this well. I'm like, oh my God, it makes so much sense. 
what do you think they're going to be saying when it comes to the criteria of what type of coach they need at these other universities? Given given what it what Prime is doing right now in this space as far as for college football, they are going to be saying we need the next Dion here. <clears throat> we need the next Dion at this school, at this school, at that, and whatever. We need that. And it'll be pressure on the other coaches. It's going to be putting pressure on their teams. And they're going to be like, how does this man have all this, how, how, how does he have all this power? How is he able to move shit like this? How is he able to influence this much? He's going to change the game. He's going yeah. to change the NCAA for sure. I mean, it's already happening. But this is going to change things. Because you know what else is going to happen? A lot of these former pros that are you know similar to him. Mm -hmm. He's already got Warren Sapp on the staff, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these former pros go, you know, why do I want to sit over here in the NFL and deal with these big-ass egos and these guys that make more money than me? Right. They're going to want to be – I'm going to go build up a program in the – Mm -hmm. NCAA. So we're going to get a lot more coach primes. Yeah. It's going to change the game. So that's that's where it comes from. And that's what's going to happen. That's yes. what's going to be the conversation. We need another coach prime. We need another. Yep. And they're going to look for that person in a former NFL player, yep. pre preferably a Hall of Famer. And I'm excited about it. Yeah. Because I want to see you shift, man. That's the look. I'm happy with that. I like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm 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 all in. Yeah, I'm all in. Bro. I'm all in. I'm pushing. I'm pushing for Prime yeah. and, and and this and this team yep. to. I can't to wait. Be for, successful, I can't man. wait for Saturday. Because <laughs> yeah. if they find a way to knock off Oregon, not, this is a whole different conversation. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. It's a whole different it's conversation. But they definitely got some dogs. Yeah, and the biggest dog is Shador. His his kid is special. Well, I'm gonna be watching. Yep, I'm gonna be watching for sure. Um, okay. Paul Wall didn't. People didn't know Paul was white. I've been people calling me for a while for a decade. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, man. He'll think your other white man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I've been calling me Paul Wall for a decade. So I'm maybe, confused. maybe I'm just at the age now where I'm I'm having to come to terms with I'm old because I had no idea that the internet was so surprised at the fact Paul Wall was white. Not only is he white, but White, yeah, like he's, he's like, he's, white, he's, white. He literally, like, you think I got, you think white. I got whites and girls. That is like, oh man, winter, like, yeah, he but, let his, he let his hair grow out. Yeah, his like like you said earlier, he's the younger old man I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's crazy because he's young in the face, but old in everything else. But one thing that ain't gonna change is that goddamn accent. That's a fact. That ain't going. That Texas shit ain't going nowhere. That is a fact. But that's it. That's it's surprising to me, man, because we came up in a generation where we were like, of course. Of course he's white, but he's cold as hell. Yeah. So we got him wrong. And on top of that, he ain't out here being performative like some of these people do. He ain't out here being like, oh, I want to be in rap so that black people like me. It's like, nah, I'm rapping. No, he, I'm he's clearly unapologetically himself. Right. Just himself. Because right. if it was a gold grill instead of a diamond grill, you think it would have been the same? Ooh, that's a good question. He came like, uh, I think if you go back, he had the gold grills. I don't think I ever seen him. That whole era was, was Rudy Chains, fucking. But if you go back a little further, the original Paul Wall, I believe, had the gold grill. Like before he was Paul Wall. I don't know. That's that's an interesting conversation. They I don't did know. they did change the game though when they really came up with that when they really started flexing the diamond grills though. They and, really and changed was, the game, and he was a massive part of that. Yeah, massive. He part. wasn't out here promoting it. He was making them. He was the guy to go <laughs> to to. Get That's, your grill. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What I mean, great I, promotion too. That was smart as fuck. I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna give these niggas these bars, yep. and I'm gonna let you know I made these grills. Yeah, you from Texas? Where the place where the boat, like nigga, people pull up to get a grill, like they pull up to get a McGriddle. Facts. It's the same shit. And you sound like that on the records. Yeah. Like sorry, and iconic. You, he's got an iconic voice. And you sound with some of the people out there the legends the biggest the texas legends get the cosign you good yeah paul wall is i've he, never seen that's he's like the first white rapper that hmm. i have never really seen be questioned nobody's question i never seen anybody question paul wall they can't because he's never done any questionable shit he has not nowhere where it's where people can actually uh, you know pose the question of some weird shit happening. And never really be on front street. Like he's never really liked being in front of like being the guy in front of everything. 
and not once and i know everybody's gonna know not one time have we ever heard a secret recording mm -hmm. or heard from somebody who's been around him yep. that he drops the end bomb never 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 ever 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 so it seems like he understands and he has a, a a respect a high respect for the culture which in turn gets you respect that's a fact you know what i'm saying and i yeah. think there's a there's this narrative that you know people want to kind of shun the the white rappers out of out of hip hop that's the that's the one right there that people were shocked by the instant one yeah. up, yeah. up, up a little up bit to the left up up until the yep. left yep. that one no no one more was it? go up one more right oh, there. that yeah, was the yeah. video yep. yeah 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 that's the hair right that's there. the one he went live or whatever and people were like what the fuck that's Paul Wall I'm telling you right now we the next time we saw on live or see him on the internet he going to have that haircut <laughs> that motherfucking haircut, bro. I'm telling you, he out there like somebody uncle that's trying to take him out to the woods, learn how to shoot. Man, oh man! <laughs> Shout out to Paul Wall, though, man. Legend. That's amazing, man. This new generation is wild. What the fuck do you think they thought he was? I mean, Mexican. <laughs> the fuck? Well, my my guess is they had never seen him. the people that were shocked had never seen him. They just heard him, because if you hear him on a record, that is, you wouldn't expect that. Right. You might expect what's on the left, maybe, but you definitely ain't expecting what's on the right. <laughs> that looks like my. That literally looks like my uncle that lives in Taka. Ridiculous. Like that don't even. I'm like that's Paul Wall. And no, you heard Ch even Chief was like, "What that? Wait, what?" He said, "That's a picture of him." <laughs> yeah. That's not Paul Wall, nigga. That's you got to take the wall out. It's, it's just, just Paul. It's just Paul. That's just Paul. <laughs> <laughs> just Paul, man. That's Paul Wall. Paul. <laughs> Paul is the <laughs> left. Paul is the motherfucker the right. <laughs> that's what that is. Unrecognizable. Why do? And that's another thing, man. Why don't people come to terms that people age, bro? Unrecognizable motherfucker. It's been twenty goddamn years. That's what you fact. think he's supposed to do? Longer. Shit. People's that's champ. Crazy. What was people's champ? People's champ came out in 2000? 2000? bro. Nah, my it, was years it was 20 years ago 20 years ago for yeah. sure yes how do they think people supposed to look people champ was like oh, no i think about it. it's like oh three or oh four i think <laughs> yeah I was, yeah i'm off i'm off i think it's only oh four and if if it is we ride around the corner from 10 from 20 years where's it at where's it, it say? where's it at oh five 2005 damn we, yep, see, had the nerve to do two days at September 11th. Hey, Amen. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that was in 2001. I know. I had to think about it. I was like, damn, Paul Wall didn't give a shit. He said, We in Texas, man. Hope, hey, <laughs> drop hope, 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 hope dropped on 9 11. Hope, hope dropped on 9 11. Blueprint, Blueprint dropped on 9 11, 2001. That nigga's competitive as hell. He said, <laughs> he said you know what? <laughs> I'm going to show him. I, I'm going to drop the same day. It's a disaster going on. The nigga going to hear these bars. I'm telling you. I got J fans out here. Nigga, watch. Oh, my God. That motherfucker is competitive that is as hell. The most competitive ever. He's he competed with the towers. And as soon as soon as oh soon as, that, as soon as it platinum. He realized he had a type of power. He stopped playing the pause game, <laughs> and he was let, and he was let and he was letting Nas have it on them on that album too. Yeah. So not only Man. New York beef during a tragic time in oh New York, God. could have been no some shit. But let's wait. He's a nah. Let it go. <laughs> no, let that shit drop. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. Oh my God. They gonna show this nigga in a Porsche. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my man! God. Yeah! <laughs> Imagine him dropping that photo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! That is insane. Yep. And then dropped a freestyle, the lounge freestyle, three days later. So shit don't stop. <laughs> <Shit don't stop. laughs> That's amazing. Great marketing. He is a good. He, ain't nobody more competitive than Hov. I can't. Uh, I don't know anybody else that had a courage. Yeah. Motherfuckers be pulling their albums back because other artists dropping. He, he said, really did. "Look at Blueprints lot 
the list for you all there are nine for you all September 14th. <laughs> He's wild. So he had this, so he used this picture. Sure did. Oh, is that even the Twin Towers? I'm not even 100% sure if it is or not. It is. That is definitely it. That's so eerie. Why don't know anybody? Why don't that's nobody so talk? Eerie. Nobody talks about this. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like you. That is the only thing in here I've ever like built a skyscraper that like is terrifying just to look. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Like you know, scaling the or going to the top of the skyscraper, man. Just the sight of those towers. It's like, like looking at a photo of like a room where you know four people were murdered. Yeah, you know like, like oh my God. four thousand. Exactly. <laughs> it's like that shit is insane, man. And that shit just passed too, man. It did. It's been a, it's been a week or so since uh, the anniversary. Do you I think? Have... Do you think people still like care as they do as far as, like the the people who weren't involved? They don't. No. Because I, I don't see no remember. No, people don't care remember 9 11 but it depends like though because alg algorithms are so much different now they keep changing because like i was talking to my girl the other day and she was like all day all i've seen is 9 11 posts and i'm like i ain't seen one yeah i, I didn't see it not shit. one except for mine i was the only one who made one i just told i was telling people to let them jokes fly so i could oh my god oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to be That's first shit, yeah. i just didn't want to be first people got senses you wouldn't be saying that if you somebody died. it's like first of all you don't know me i right. might Right. I, I very well might. Second of all, you don't know what kind of jokes I'm going with. I might be going with conspiracy it. jokes. <laughs> Time has passed. I'm healed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can talk about yeah. it. Now. And laugh at my pain. Okay. Right. We all went through it together. Remember yeah. they said that? Yeah. We all, it was America. Hey, what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference between uh, mowing the lawn and 9 11? What? <laughs> mowing the lawn is the outside job. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Shout out to George W. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? Fuck guy. Give him much credit, by the way. He was not smart enough to put that you off. Got a book? A book. <laughs> <laughs> that was a he said. <laughs> and then Johnny kept swinging <laughs> and going down yeah. the jungle gym. Oh, my God. He kept reading the book. Um, do we care about Jeezy and his wife getting divorced? I mean, I care because the, because of the potential of what may or may not have happened. Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason I do. Care if G got you know, that's horrible with Mario Lopez, Bruh. What what was his name to say by the bill? Was that AC or who was Slater? Oh God, AC Slater fuck Jeezy's wife, and AC Slater don't pull up. Uh, AC Slater. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh my God. God. Oh shit. Oh my God. Jeezy, no. <laughs> the snowman. This whoa, can't whoa, be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. That, <laughs> that first. <laughs> look how they got him looking on that oh, fucking Lord. thumbnail. <laughs> they got him looking like Roy Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i need to see what's going on here that is crazy they got my man looking wild oh what that was the face after uh gucci dropped that line <laughs> Spit on <Pilo. laughs> he said huh oh my Ooh. god hold on though so like do we need to reassess anything if he got i mean that's not his fault right no it's not I mean that's it's not see this is we thing. can't victim blame. The, the official filing apparently said that it was <laughs> it was <laughs> well okay so now that's he's another, a new time he's a New York's best yeah. author now though <laughs> but why AC slay <laughs> but why did AC slay God! her <laughs> oh, oh Stop. my God. Isn't Mario get... Lopez married too? He is. Yo. He got kids with that woman. So Jeezy gotta fuck his wife now, right? Jeezy gotta he gotta had a whole crew do it. Jeezy gotta fuck AC Slater. Imagine, imagine Jeezy getting beat up. Jeezy gotta fuck Jeezy gotta fuck Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Jeezy gotta fuck Mario. 
Open like, yeah. <laughs> camera. I think that's how that works. Oh, I miss it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the, how Jeezy's face looked in that thumbnail. Imagine Jeezy fighting. And I'm, u- like, I'm using that thumbnail, that face for our thumbnail too. And he like he fighting on hardwood <laughs> floors, and he ain't got no hat on. And somebody hit him, and he fell ground. Sweet. And <laughs> shoes <laughs> on the, <laughs> <in> the NBA. <laughs> oh God damn it! <laughs> All right, yeah, I need to go. Well, it looks like the divorce between Jeannie Mai and Jeezy is getting really nasty because new details are starting to emerge that just blew their marriage problem wide open and took the drama from being plain messy to being downright insane. Did Jeannie really step out on Jeezy? And why did Jeezy blindside Jeannie and play along as a dutiful husband all the while plotting the divorce behind her back? Honestly, there is a lot of he said, she said, wild rumors. So let's burn this mess down. It's y'all on her rep. Young G filed a divorce from Jeannie a couple of days ago, and it had the internet wondering what went wrong because they always seemed like that cute couple who was obsessed with each other. People immediately started thinking of Jeezy as the victim because of the sudden way Jeezy filed for divorce and his history of walking out on his partners as soon as they had a baby. And guess what? Apparently, Jeannie found wow. that she was getting divorced along with the rest of us because she was completely blindsided that Jeezy had been plotting to divorce her for months. This this made Jeezy look like the guilty party because how on earth do you file for divorce without even having a conversation about it with your partner? People felt sorry for Jeannie because of this and because of how much she had sacrificed for the marriage. In case what? you didn't know, Jeannie used to be married to a white man named Freddie Hartai and they were married for 11 years before she filed for divorce. And the reason their marriage ended was because he wanted to have and Jeannie has decided that she would never have kids no matter what. And if you are wondering why, this has a lot to do with Jeannie's experience up because she had been a victim of SA. The topic of having kids became such a big recurring issue in the marriage that she eventually had to end it. Freddie ended up getting someone else pregnant a couple of weeks later after he and Jeannie broke up. And this broke Jeannie so bad that she vowed never to marry again. She claimed it was a one and done deal for her. But fast forward a couple of years, she met young Jeezy. They had an immediate connection that was so strong that neither one of them even tried to front or deny that they were attracted to each other. They went on their first date only a few days after meeting for the first time and the date was fire. They shut down a sushi restaurant for hours and when they left, they didn't want the date to end so they went salsa dancing. The entire date ended up lasting more than eight hours. So I walk in, I sit down and Four hours later, we shut down the sushi restaurant. We had the most amazing deep talk about our greatest lessons in life, our greatest mistakes. It was super vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. So then after that, he looks at me and he's like, yo, you want to like, I don't know, I don't want to go home. Do you want to go salsa dancing with me? Starting a absolutely a couple yeah. of days after that, and it was all sunshine roses because we got to see this? a cute, vulnerable side of Jeezy that we didn't often see. Jeezy, like... I have to tell you that getting to know Jay, you guys know, <laughs> know him as Jeezy. Jay, 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 uh-huh. uh-huh. you know, <laughs> I know how Jeannie swore that marriage wasn't her thing and that she was never going to get married again. Well, it didn't take a lot of effort from Jeezy to change her mind. And when he proposed to her after less than two years of dating, she was more than happy to say yes. He got married in 2021 and their relationship continued to blossom. They were so cute for them and again, Jeezy managed to convince Jeannie to give up another one of her principal's kids. Less than a year into their marriage, he convinced her to have kids with him and she got pregnant well with their daughter Manal in 2022. Now it was at this point that people kid. started sending warning signals to Jeannie asking her to be careful with Jeezy because he kids. didn't exactly have a great track history with his other baby mamas. His baby mamas don't really like him all that much and if they're not dragging him to court for fi- <laughs> to pay child support he's calling them broke and hungry so people wanted genie to care especially to look like he was the one who pressured her into having kids but then she always claimed that things were just perfect between them and claimed that she just knew that they were meant to be together we're grown grown we're in our 40s and what yeah. i think is that god somehow know. managed our timing that we time for our 
long-term relationships. Yeah. We both came from 10-year relationships. She lying like we really hell. worked on ourselves to really understand what healthy love is like. She was obviously obsessed with her daughter, and she even claimed that she was open to the idea of having more kids with Jeezy. I think Jeezy used it for a corporate You think so? See, that's the thing, you know, they, they chalking it up to, uh, to, uh, what the fuck was it? The, the values or something like that. He said it was like family values or some shit that he's talking about. But I think, I think these motherfuckers be playing, man. I think they, they put up a front when they get with somebody. Like, I don't think a genie Mai really understood what she was getting herself into being with G. Yeah. And she, and she, she tried to take it a certain way. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> she's, this one. she's like, she said, who is Pookie Low? <laughs> what <is> happening? <laughs> she was terrified. She felt the energy. I was like, bro, these some of these women don't understand when they get involved with these guys. It's not just about the protection, bro. You think she was in the building? She had to have, she had to have been. Let, let's, let's G he was going to say, let's go salsa dance. He probably told her to stay at the house. He was probably protecting to say, I think you want to be in this environment. I don't want you to, you know what I'm saying, get scared or get terrified. She probably hit him with the, I'm from so-and-so and I'll do this and my family does this. I'm going to be okay. That's what happens before yeah. it start happening. Yeah. You start looking around wondering, yeah. <laughs> shit going to pop off, man. Man, that was probably, that was an epic ass moment. It was, man, and I think it was probably, probably the biggest moment in a long ass time. Jeezy and, and Gucci. Some people Versus. thought it would never happen in life. Right, sure. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I don't. I don't really have much else to say about those two. Uh, good luck to Jeezy. Good luck to Genie. Whatever goes. I hope the rumors ain't true, because that'd be some foul shit. Having AC Slater, AC Slay her, put her in a. Oh my God, y'all saw that yo when he grabbed or she brought her baby on set. He kissed the baby, bro. He kissed the baby, man. C Slater was like, "Oh, cute baby, come on, baby, quick, cute baby, Jeezy, mm -hmm. little Jeezy, little Jeezy, my." <laughs> that shit. And if the rumors are true, I say I set that one up. I'm like, think about it. If you a man in this situation, motherfuckers gonna immediately come insecure. They gonna say you this and that if you try to bring something up. So you try to let it go because this is your wife's co-host is somebody who she only views as a friend. On top of that, he's married too. So let's just be secure in that, right? Man, look, imagine when a motherfucker finds out his intuition was right. It usually is too. And then you gotta go back and see that this man. Gave your baby a kiss on the cheek. Put his mouth on your baby. Moita. I will moita him. <laughs> I will Yo. moita that motherfucker. Yo. Are you crazy? You that comfortable? Fuck out of here. Put your mouth on baby and my wife. Yeah. Yeah, you you gotta die. You're gonna be saved by the hell, nigga. <laughs> Put your ass Yo. beneath. Don't do me kids like that. That yeah. shit's crazy. You gotta call Mr. Belding. <laughs> you gonna be kicking it yeah. with your boy Screech, motherfucker? Sure. <laughs> you you are with me. That is a fact. That I've been up fact. since three AM. I told you. No, that's a fact. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. We're gonna skip past this one, but yeah, these girls, you gotta stop grabbing Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you're yeah. gonna get killed too. Like, I'll stop grabbing. Yeah, Drake. that fits along with the narrative before <clears throat> when it fit and all yeah. the other people you run up on. Yeah, and do let Drake too. let Drake walk by. If you could put a fingertip on him, okay. But yeah. stop getting in front of him, trying to grab you, him. Get your phone. I don't even like how these these posts run with their narrative. Drake pushes. Drake did not push anybody. Jake, def or I said Jake. Drake defended himself. Yeah, Drake shoulder somebody. Yeah. Like, get out of here. That's Not assault, gonna... man. Imagine yeah. now. Now we gonna bring it there. Imagine. Oh my god! <laughs> if we got Beyonce mm -hmm. walking the crowd, and some dude just start, ah, oh, yeah, grabbed a handful of tatas, nigga. We, it's over for him. Done. It's over. They, they and, and Beyonce gave him one good uppercut and shit. They, yeah. gonna, they ain't gonna say, look at Beyonce hitting him. They're like, look at this man assaulting or. They are burying you under the arena. Yeah. Yeah. You're done for. Gone. Without You'll be doubt. nameless like the motherfucker that we don't know who ran up on 50. Yeah, so stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. Just like, 
just superimposing in front of here. So on that no, talk about the Drake rollout. So first of all, he yeah. pushed, so first of all, he pushed the album again. Mm-hmm. Typical. He dropped a single with SZA. Because of Diddy. <laughs> because of Diddy. Diddy nah. did it. Because Diddy dropped two weeks ago. Drake wasn't <laughs> supposed to drop till this week. Diddy be diddling people. But anyway, that's a whole other topic for another day. What were you saying? <laughs> he dropped it, but he did drop the single with SZA. Okay. A lot. Of, I see a lot of hate. Personally, I, that song is just another example of Drake writing music from my brain. Because boy, do I feel him. And it started out exactly how I wanted it to start out. Mm-hmm. I wanted to hear bitches within the first three seconds, and I did. <laughs> and I and I'm happy about that. Like. I'm ready. I'm you, ready. You need a nice crisp bitch. Yeah. The yeah. Soul real quick. yeah. Especially the way Drake says it. <laughs> Especially the way he says, you know what I'm saying? A nice crisp bitch. Yeah. The yeah. Situation. The way the way Drake says bitches is almost like he didn't say bitches. It's like he said young ones. It's he almost said, like you know he has a pass to do it. I like it. You it's know? like, yeah, it's like you it's almost like the envy because you, you know, we can't really we I can't feel like that. when Drake says bitches, the bitches that he's talking to. Hear it and they're like, yeah, yeah, we're bit. I'm bitch. I wonder if a motherfucker who was a judge and shut up and rap like Drake, and if he do like Drake, then you's a hypocrite because <laughs> you was mad at me for saying bitch in my song, and I was just repeating what somebody else said in another rap to be clever in my song. Did you so remember? Who I, he, did you remember who he was? No, yet? I didn't remember who he was, but I hope he sees this. Hey, you know who we need? Who Ox. We do. He needs Ox to get, will figure it out. Get to the bottom of it, Ox. Find out who this white man was who was a judge <laughs> at Shut Up and Rap a few years back who made me lose. Ox going to scroll said, that Go95 page for a couple hours. He's going to find man, it. I, man. He's going to find it. Use a bitch. All right? <laughs> and I hope you know and I'm saying it to you. These are my words and not anything else I'm using. Use a bitch for that, man. It's fucked up. Agreed. Uh, do you like the single? Have you heard it? You heard the Drake I single? Did. You like it? I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's not it, the man. typical single. It's and not. I, and I don't think that it quite did what he thought it was going to do. And I think that's part of why he's pushing the album too. I don't think- was that ri- do you think that was originally his goal? Like for, I mean, that's that single that, was that, that would be, that would do something big. And he put says on it and he used, and then there was the con. We'll get to that in a second. The controversial photo that he used, the slime photo. Oh yeah. Right? And I want to get to that too, because I think, People are getting out of pocket that one. Um, the only thing that I'll say about the the song, <clears throat> the slime you out joint, is uh scissor body them. It's the problem. You can't be you can't be on your women hating dog shit and then let scissor pull up and put a fucking body on you. Well, here's here's the reason why. Because he's a genius. It's well, no, 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 it was not even that. Not <laughs> even that. She has already been in her bag of that. It's true. He's been in a roller coaster of emotions his past yeah. couple, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, he's just getting into the fuck these bitches era. Yes, as far as his music, he's already been on some fuck these motherfuckers, and I'm gonna say with some much. So she already had that in the tuck. That's true. That he's is true. Trying, at that point, he's trying to catch up, but also I think it is strategic for him to drop a single with Scissor. Kind of lets me know that he's not trying to. I mean, of course, all about him. But he didn't. He didn't mind sharing that spotlight for his first single for off sure. of the album. So it's like, and know? it's Drake's strategy to us. Like it lessens putting SZA on there. Right, lessens the blow of the bitches. The him saying bitches. It's like he called us bitches, but he put SZA on. Right, so, right. Like, okay. <laughs> he puts SZA. We love SZA. Yeah, we SZA love, can call us bitches for sure. And right. I and I, <laughs> right. and I love and I love SZA too. So it works for me. It works for me. But it, I do like the song. I don't know if it worked. I don't know if it should have been the lead single. But what I will say is Aubrey, cut the shit and drop the fucking album. Because you keep saying that you got an album for the dogs. Mm-hmm. I'm the fucking dogs. I need the album. He don't care about you. Cut like the shit. <laughs> cut the shit and cut the album. I'm sick of it. That's I'm a, but- sick of the excuses. So that's another thing with Drake in this album. One of the things, so a few things actually came to we prophesy. You, for one, you got the, the first album date right. That was correct. Yes. Then I brought the fact that 
he so, is going to release a single at the end towards the end of the month yep. so that we already have a single from the album that he can learn to you know get and inform he's still and did you say forward. he's gonna push it again i think you did i think you said he's gonna push the date i think you did i i, he, I might have somebody did it might not have been i might have but i specifically remember saying that he was gonna come out with a single mm -hmm. at the end of this month yep. and then perform it because he wants it to do it done. and if and the the good thing about it like when you say that you don't know if it's doing or gonna do what it's supposed to do when you're on these arena tours all it takes is them niggas that just left the arena yep. to play that shit once yep. Fifty thousand some motherfuckers playing one song at once every time you leave consecutively every night yep don't worry about them streams you good that's a fact you know what i'm saying yep. so it's like strategic too and i think he might be saving some of the like hardest shit he got for another because I don't I don't remember how many singles he put out before he dropped uh, that last album with him in 21. I think it was just one. I think he only put out one song mm. before they dropped. With uh CLB, he only put out the one. So okay, so he might just be he, he might just be the one single guy, and then once the album drops, then it's like, okay, we're gonna yeah. start pushing the other. I mean, I think there have been a couple of times where I think he dropped multiple singles when the single didn't work. Mm. Like uh what was it, Scorpion? Yeah, where he dropped, I'm upset, and I'm upset didn't really do what he thought it was to do. Oh dropped. yeah, it was clowning. I'm upset, which I I like. I'm upset. I remember they was clowning that, but it, I'm pretty it, sure look. If y'all want to watch an epic music video, go watch the music video. That I'm upset. He went back to Degrassi and brought all of his cast. Oh yeah, that was a phenomenal video. fire yeah. video. Yeah, yeah, fire video. Yeah, phenomenal video. It's one of my favorite videos ever. What do you what do you do when you're Drake and you know you're Drake and you know the impacts you have? But you have to choose a single to come out with. Because even though you're the biggest artist, you're selling out arenas, there could be that one song that you have that have people start to change the narrative. To be honest, I wonder, I wonder how much he has to do with that arena, especially when he's on tour. Hmm. Who makes that call? Does he make that? I'm sure he has a say in it. But I'd be willing to bet you that it's more of a team effort. Like this is the one. Maybe that's why it keeps getting pushed back. Probably. Well, that's what he said. He said that in the statement. It's getting pushed. Like, I got two choices: A, I can stop the tour and the album, or that's B, right. I can finish the album and then drop it at the end of the tour. Yeah. So that that is the problem that he's conflicted right now. Maybe, or maybe it's all just promo. We know that team is very strategic, and they know what they're doing. And that leads me into the next topic: the Halle Berry slime photo. Mm. Word is he thought. Ali and said, can I use the photo for the cover art? And she said, no. So he didn't use it for the cover art, but he used it on Instagram. Now apparently she's upset. So wait, where'd you hear that part at? Uh, I heard it. I heard it on Joe Button today. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't hear about that yet, but uh, yeah. Uh, your, your thoughts. Is he wrong? I don't think he's wrong because it's not like he used like a a provocative picture of her mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like her and monsters ball or some shit with the fucking <laughs> you know what i'm saying with the titties out yeah. just like it kind of just goes along with the song and on top of that whoever added that picture did a phenomenal job it's very nice <laughs> it's very it's, it's a very a, that's a real photo i no, no no but it, it's edited to make it look more like hd 4k smoother oh, okay, type yeah, you know what i'm saying because it is an old it's an old phone. right right it's a it's gotcha, it's yeah. basically taken from the the video that it was so yeah. it's like he just had some that enhanced shit yeah and make it look the way that it did um her response though i think she is genuinely pissed about it mm -hmm. because she didn't like go out and make a post she didn't go out and like well i mean she made a post but she didn't say that it was about that mm -hmm. until she was asked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She didn't, somebody asked her about it. And that's when she, you know, was like, well, this is kind of what that post is about, whatever. But I think it's just like, it is what it is. This is the internet, this is the internet age. Do you follow Halle Berry on social media? No. So she's spicy. Really? Yeah. She talks shit. She talks that shit. And she, and she does, and she gets in the comment sections. Mm. Yeah. She's not afraid to respond. Talk to people. Makes so sense, yeah. this situation is one of two things. One, Drake called Halle Berry and said, look, here's what I'm about to do. Are you with it? And she was like, sure, go for it. 
I'm going to tell people that I asked you, you said no, and then I'm going to post anyways, but not as the album art. And then you say something, and then it helps me, and it helps you. It makes you relevant. makes us relevant. Is this a fucked up society we're living in? Yeah. Where we have to like that. That is like now. Yeah. Like one of the first things you that's think about feasible. Is how strategic that's very feasible. It is. That's the crazy part. It's like people don't know what to leave anymore. People and and if leave. you're Drake and Halle Berry, why not? Why not? It's gonna work. We're talking about it. True. Joe Budden's talking about it. I'm sure Breakfast Club talking about it. I'm sure everywhere in the world is talking about it. So. Why not? I mean, Hallie is one of the biggest stars in her genre. Mm -hmm. It's a no brainer that yeah. her bringing it up is going to cause yeah. type of controversy, cause some type of conversation. It's perfect. Drake, though, is a fucking menace. But regardless, either way, right? Either way, even if what really happened happened, it's still marketing genius. Yeah. Oh, she said no. All right, cool. I won't use it as the album art, but I'm still going to post it on IG. Speaking of album art, you see he linked up with uh, Suki, the girl that was on his album artwork for him in 21s. I did not see that. Yeah, he uh, she posted it actually, and then it started going viral. But she, you know, he invited her out to the show, and he walked hmm. down and walked out, had the cameraman turn right to her, and they had like a little moment real quick. Okay, it was dope as fuck, actually. That is dope. It's pretty dope. And then uh, you think he hit? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Drake is a menace. He's a menace. I feel like Drake tries to hit everything that comes across his way. Everything. But he got a clean. He got a pretty clean record though. That's what's crazy about it. He's a, he he's like the Derek Jeter of rap. He probably chooses he wisely. Takes, he takes them down, and they don't ever be bad about him. Almost ever. Shout out to them NDAs too. Yeah. So you got to think about it. It's only if it's it, when you think about the the percentage of women that actually go out here and like expose what they do with certain rappers and shit. Yeah. It's I mean, it seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. Yeah. You don't really hear about a lot of top guys like that. You probably hear about some of the guys that's like lit at the moment, but it's like these guys got it kind of locked down unless it's like they were, you know, fucked up, didn't have this girl sign the NDA or do that, and they just kind of let it go. I'm about to have people start signing NDAs. It's a good idea, huh? Just kind of <laughs> <just kinda laughs> Drake, Drake uh also um uh, might have took a shot at Megas today or last. It night. was a, yeah. I mean, it seemed like at least a little bit of a slight. At least it was definitely a slight. Here's the thing that I don't like about that is he was in Texas, right? Yes. Yeah. Took away from the, what was actually happening, which is him shouting out his photographer, his longtime photographer, who I followed for, for almost his whole career. Yeah, she's an amazing photographer, and so I feel like it sort of overshadowed her, which was a huge moment for her. You know what I'm saying? Like she's got like. 15,000 followers on IG, but she goes everywhere with him. And it's not hard for Drake to say shout out to my photographer, Meg. Right, right. So it's like and her name is Meg. You think about how strategic, yeah, he, apparently. Right. And then he knew what he and was then doing. when he said, not that Meg, it was like, right. oh, oh. But again, <laughs> right. They right. Didn't know what Meg so he calmed about. it down. He had to calm it down. <laughs> so it might have, it might have just been him saying, hey, just hey, 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 relax. Yeah. We also know that at one point he did he did back Tory through this process. Well, yeah. He did. Which is funny because, you know, they used to have a little beef when yeah. they first came out, but it was like clearly they became more solid than that. I heard a lot of people say that he was biting Tory with the new song. That it sounded like Tory. It sounded like a Tory song. And then Tory's locked up. Well, you know what? Fair game. You know what? Steal I'm, the rest I'm gonna of have to. I'm going to have to combat you on that because Tory Lane sounds like 10 niggas album all the time. True. He is the nigga that will sound like uh, a R and B singer, a rapper, a soul, yeah. all that shit. He's good at all of them, though. He's very good at that. Yeah. He's very good at mimicking. Yeah. There was a song where he—I uh, forgot what the name of that song was—but he like pretty much took Kodak's flow mm -hmm. and just like that's the thing. You can you can try to mimic people's cadence and they sound. But if you ain't if you ain't saying shit behind it, mm -hmm. you in the air. He was he was spitting on that motherfucker. So yeah, yeah see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he was he was doing yeah. something with it. So yeah. it's like that's how you take that's how you take a certain style and you get inspired by it, and then you take it and you morph it to how you want to do it. So then he started rapping like Meg, and she got mad, so he shot her. Oh God. <laughs> Are you going to deny that's what happened? 
that's what happened. Did she? Good question. Is our battery? We're about to lose a camera. Uh, <laughs> let, okay. let it die. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Found on Drake. Did you see what Drake did today? You see that he gifted the that BBL the doctor. No, he gifted the BBL doctor some OVO scrubs. Oh yeah. Drake is a menace. Wait, 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 yes. wait, wait. You talking about Dr. Miami? I don't know. If the... It was one of the bigger, one of the bigger, more popular, well-known BBL doctors. And he pulled up on him and gifted him <laughs> some OVO scrubs. Drake said, thank you, motherfucker. <laughs> you have done wonders for me. Do you know the type of women that I have Drake... come encounter with? <laughs> Drake is so wild. Drake is a horn dog. <laughs> oh, my God. That man is ridiculous, man. Will he ever stop? I'm surprised he only has one kid. I'm I'm dead ass. I'm surprised he has one kid. Shout out to them NDAs. I don't know. Yeah, clearly. Can you can you write that into an NDA? Because he get pregnant. Because his baby mom didn't really say nothing about him when all that shit was happening, right? She kind of like the, don't she not really speak English? Yeah, I I think she, she, too. she had peanut butter on the top of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't talk right. She, they said, you know what? We're not even going to pay attention to this bitch. It's all right. You drink baby mom. We'll, we'll fuck with you. It's okay. <laughs> She's the biggest saying on his love life, too. It she, this was crazy. She because of, that, well, yeah, because of the way it happened. And she, of ain't, course. That, and she ain't that fine. I mean, but she is, not. but like, she's not. Like, she's she not. Like, she's not what you expect. That was a. That was a I'll try this for tonight that situation. Was, that was like that was like when your hoe tried to lie about we smashed the fat girl and y'all found out he really did. Yeah. Y'all gotta see the egg on yep. his face. Yep. <laughs> y'all exactly be like what that was. You, Charlene told us what happened at her house last weekend, <laughs> nigga. She told us exactly what you had on. And you left our house at that time talking about you a hoe, nigga. We knew what you was doing. Oh, God damn it, Charlene. Uh, do, you ca- do you care about Russell Brand? I don't care. He's out here graping people, apparently. Nah, that's actually a, uh, a much more wilder thing. I think we might have to. He made somebody suck his dick while she was asleep. <laughs> we might have to deep dive into this oh, at another whoa. time. Because well, he's behind this. <clears throat> what's the conspiracy? That because he's been going as hard as he has been on certain topics american topics specifically exactly <laughs> yep uh seems like a, to get him up out of here yeah, yeah but yeah. we we don't know we don't know him we don't know what he's been in we don't know about his past with other women all i know is that seems like a pattern when somebody starts to talk even even if they're even if they're completely wrong about what they're talking about mm-hmm. The possibility of the narrative being stronger than the facts yep. will have you looking at some shit and being involved in some shit you never thought you would be. <clears throat> Especially if you get big enough. And I, I'm pretty sure his his uh his his, po- his brand is big enough. His podcast is makes a lot of a lot of noise. The uh email that no, was sent. So no, there was an email that was sent. I'm gonna just read this real quick before we yes. move forward, but um so the email that they got first, the uh, because uh, Rumble didn't take him off of uh, their platform. YouTube. So after the alleg- after the allegations, YouTube demonetized them and Rumble left them. No, no, no. Ru- yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Rumble, they, they, they left them. They left them alone. Okay. Immediately, Rumble started getting the emails and shit. Like what we uh, we. Uh, you know, we talked about the Dave shit before before the podcast. Dave yeah. Portnoy kind of dealing with the same shit when it comes to there's a certain narrative about him, and you have other corporate, you know, entities emailing sponsors and ad, you know, individuals, advertisers, and trying to force them not to work with you. Yep. And that's what happened in this instance. They emailed the UK. It was a culture and sports committee. They got they uh had an email that says dear theo i don't know who the fuck the dr theo or 
Uh, Dear Theo, I am writing concerning the serious allegations regarding Russell Brand in the context as a user of TikTok with more than 2.2 million followers on the platform. The culture, media, and sports is uh, rising questions with the broadcasters who previously employed Mr. Brand or uh, production companies who employed him to examine both the culture of the industry in the past and whether that culture still prevails today. Uh, Yeah. And they said, while we recognize that TikTok is not the creator of the content published by Mr. Brand and his content be within the community guidelines set out by the platform, we are concerned that he may be able to profit from his content on the platform. So that's crazy that they can literally try to go. And if Rumble wasn't the platform that they already are and how they set the tone when they bring on people, especially big names, they definitely would have dropped him. 100% 100% would have dropped them. But because of the, the angle they have already pushed or they're, where, where they're already going from the get-go, mm-hmm. off jump, they're not going to go back on their word about what it is that their platform does. They they responded to it. Yeah. What do you think? I think that uh, he probably did some shit in the, in, back in the day as a, or not even, probably, I don't know when it was. I don't know when the allegations were, but being a celebrity, I don't know what the fuck be going on, but it seemed like a lot of people be fucking everything. And it seems like a lot of shit be going on, and then next thing you know, allegations come up. So I can't speak to that, but it does look iffy that he has been talking about certain things. When it comes to the government when it comes to you know people like Bill Gates and all these other people that pretty much have hands into the same pot, and then all of a sudden. Could be. I mean, one of it could be. <laughs> he said, "I might as well crash the fuck out on everybody." All the what? information I know. One of the one. Ah, uh, and he doing that's his distraction. Well, what? What? Hold on. What if? What happens to everybody? What if? They go What if? What if he knew he did some shit, even though. He, he doesn't feel like he did anything wrong. He knew that it could be used against him. Because here's the deal. Like, let's say, so there's, because one of the women is saying she went and bought a rape kit, right? Yes. But then she chose to not press charges or whatever? Correct. So that's the thing, right? That's a kink, right? Like, that that's a kink for some people is, uh, what do you call it? Um no, 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 no. I'm saying like, like, uh, like bondage and shit. Yeah, not bondage. BDSM or all. Not even that, but like, uh, rape fantasy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, th- like that's a thing. Mm-hmm. So what if you're in a relationship where that's part of your thing, and then all of a sudden shit comes up and you're like, fuck, bro. That's we were doing cool. that shit, and if I she go gets, goes and gets a rape kit, she can prove it. That's and I'm why, not saying that's the case. But I, I'm saying that's why I encourage dudes out there still in the dating life, still out here having sexual activities. With more than one woman, if she pops out immediately on the first night when y'all first get to it, and she start doing the extra freaky shit, you have to walk away. And I know that sounds crazy, shit. But the climate that we are in, you have to wait till you know this bitch. You gotta. She has to tell you. Let her tell you what it is that she's interested in. Y'all need to have that verbally oh, I, that's, out there. That's one of the first conversations I have. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You don't want to be the guy that's. I need know, it in text. Yeah, don't and have I, nobody. And I'm screen screenshot randomly screenshot, like screenshot. yo choke me. No, I'm not randomly doing that. I don't know you yeah. like that. Yeah, you could be the type of motherfucker wake up the next day talking about yeah. ah my throat hurt. Yeah, bitch. No. Yeah. We, nah. We both sure. nothing. We going to sleep. I like the way he's laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did it happen to you? The motherfucker told you randomly. Just hey, shit, shout man. it out. He yeah. said, "Hey, hey, hey, hold on. slow your roll, bitch." <laughs> No, I'm right. definitely, I'll definitely, cho- I'll definitely choke a bitch, but I definitely want to hear long before I ever put any type of fingers or hands on you anywhere. Right. I need in text the that, type of shit that you're into, the type of shit you want me to do to you. We're having a type of climate, bro. Type of climate we in. You got to. We're having phone sex before we have real sex. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out what you about for sure. <laughs> and then I will see if you really about that for life for sure. And it's and it's okay if you're not right. But I got it in text form. Mm-hmm. That you, so you can't don't know that funny shit. I don't know. So the, one of the women accused him, but he was she was in a relationship with him of making her suck his dick in the middle of the night while she was asleep. 
but then they stay together for like another year. And I'm not saying that it's not possible to be sexually assaulted and then stay in a relationship. That can happen. I know that, but it's always going to sound crazy. To me. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm drunk, if my girl hey, drunk, hey, 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 if we've been together, hold on, 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 hold you say, hold up, I'll be right back. Let me go pee. You go pee, you come back. She starts snoring. You try to wake her up with the deals to the face. It's like, it's like, if she don't wake up, then, she, then it's like, all right, go to sleep, motherfucker. We'll get it in the morning. But what, but, if, but what if she, what what if if she it, doesn't wake up and you don't do that? You now that's a problem. Please. See, now that I'm trying what to give up. I'm trying to give the. What if uh, you start face fucking and then she wakes up like. <laughs> <laughs> then you can't, then you got to be looking at her with. The, Oh, man. Is I this thought, okay? With the you Can looking at her going? with the I thought she was up face. You know damn well she went up. You said, <laughs> huh? what? Oh, you, I thought you you was you was moving. Your, your mouth. eyes were open. Your tongue was moving. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was up. You said yes. He said, "Man, she snoring. What the fuck, bro?" Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man. Russell Brand actually might have. To <laughs> you might, have, you might have to answer for some shit. Hey, hey, I'm saying it's. It's a little questionable. Fuck it. It's a little questionable. It is. Um, all right. Well, good luck to thoughts and prayers to everybody involved, man. Out. Good luck to y'all. Good luck. I don't uh <laughs> I don't know what to say. Good I luck. We, we good gotta luck. wait for more things to get the good luck, Russ. This story. It's it's fresh, man. So. uh you I know you didn't get a chance. We talked about it before. You didn't get a chance to listen to it yet, not yet, but Coach Roy, mm. BS high, he made it. He scammed his way onto the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, he scammed his fucking way to JP. It's the craziest thing. And it, it's funny that it actually, he actually interviewed that Roy Johnson dude from Bishop Sycamore. The, the dude created quote unquote fake college and had the fake team and shit. He said it on that episode when they were reviewing that, that documentary. He said, I'm going to have him up here. I'm going to interview him. Yep. And then he said he was going to fund his podcast. So now that's the next step right now. You already know on the pod. Clearly, it was a, a good episode. <laughs> you, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. It might be tomorrow, right? It will be on YouTube tomorrow. It is, I think it's in like hour two of today's regular release. Uh, I can't TV. wait. I don't even know. He going crazy on there. Seems like. I think it might be. Yeah, I think he's dropping on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. You hear them talk about their work by day, like it's open ended. Mm. No, but that's my dream. So yeah. let's get that. Let's do that. That's what they said. Like yeah. it's just they just come in and they just do their thing until they feel like they're done. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I should do it, man. I we think start... it's a lot of pressure on, like, you know, you know your, you know your topics and shit. You have some topics and whatnot, but it's a lot more pressure when you feel like there's a start and end point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot well, more. Well, that freedom. and that and when you're the JBP, you know your big dog, right? So mm -hmm. everybody's on your ass. Yeah. In your mind, everybody's chasing you on your bumper. So slowing down isn't an option. You know Never. what I'm saying? Like everybody Never. is right there. So yeah, I mean. Sounds amazing. Sounds like exactly what I want for my life. For sure. <laughs> that's it. Now that's that's what I'm saying. I, we, we'll work, we can we'll work, we can we'll definitely get, get our way there. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get there. But yeah, man, I, I mean, I'll I'll withhold saying too much. The one that just came out today. I want to give people a chance to see it. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna watch tomorrow. What I will say is, I'm team. I'm team. I'm team Coach Roy. Team Coach Roy. Yeah, I'm, huh? on, I'm, on, I'm on Coach Very Roy's side now. Very interesting take, man. You know, Coach Roy did not come out looking so great at the end. He's that still documentary. clean. He still ain't clean, but neither is anybody else. So, and that's interesting. I mean, without without having to give too much, just a, a a piece of what made you feel like the tides should be turned. It's on the narrative. easy to forget that these documentary hit pieces, hmm. all of them. None of no documentary out there is giving you both sides. They tug on your heartstrings. They always the, a document. The point of a documentary is to show you one side yeah. and lean you that in that direction, and that's what BS High did. Now, 
he said that and still said, I think they did a great job. Mm -hmm. So he still was complimentary. He was still complimentary of the, of the product. He just felt like he's being misrepresented by some of the people in the episode, which I, or in the, the, the doc, which yeah. I agree with. I think you, we might've talked about episode one, mm. that one kid that cried. I thought he was faking. I thought those were crocodile tears. He thought, oh, he did say and he that's the kid. Was, didn't you had, was that the one that you had on your show? No, 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 no. That, that was the kid that you had on your show is the kid that's a rapper. The kid, right? Yeah, the kid that I had on my show is a, is a rapper. Bro, it's 4'9", 300 and something pounds. Definitely should be still playing ball right now. So go listen to what Coach Roy had about. About the one I'm about, about that kid specifically. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Through through shade multiple times. That kid specifically. Really? Oh yeah, oh yeah, hilarious. It was hilarious because we did have that conversation. I I don't know if we had it on camera, or off camera, <laughs> but when I seen I, I seen dude on the internet post that he was homeless and he was living out of his car at one point and had a GoFundMe. Coach Roy said he was on the t on the team for three weeks. He said, "I don't know how him being on our team for three weeks and him homeless." <laughs> And yeah, he, I got. I, and I gotta, he said, and he I said, watch this show. and he's six foot nine, three hundred and twenty pounds, trying to be a rapper. Why aren't you still playing ball? Oh my lord! And he said, I remember the first time I saw DMX in concert and Ludacris in concert, and those are some short guys. Imagine, he said, imagine that kid walking out of stage before. <laughs> he said, three DMX is tall, looking at you like nobody wants to see that. But the one thing that he said to me that I thought was a major was that kid and then one of the other kids both have GoFundMe's. One of them has made a thousand dollars, one of them has made like six thousand dollars. If y'all are so upset and feel like these kids were done so wrong, we know how many people saw that documentary. It was very popular popular and about to be even more popular now that he's been on the JBP. Yeah. Why why haven't they made a million dollars in their GoFundMe yet? Nobody cares about young black kids. <laughs> That's just the truth, man. That's the sad truth. Could be that too. That's the and that's that's the biggest. Yeah, that's the biggest fake out and. That's true. You know. Probably. And added the wrong key components. And didn't know what the fuck to do with it. Right. Uh, I, 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 I would urge I would urge y'all to go. I would, I guess we could give away twenty thousand instead. <laughs> let's, give away, let's give away. Let's give away. Let's give away internships. Let's go house shopping and then run it back and do it again. Oh my god! <laughs> I kind of we would have from Adam Twenty Two to Sean King, motherfucker. They would have had you, a, man. I'd have had some good ass security too. <laughs> good luck. You <laughs> top good, dollar. Good luck. Hey, hey, the yeah, ad. Come and get me. Fuck it. I shouldn't say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The ad insult the injury. You had the nation of Islam. <laughs> 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 yeah. They was walking with you and shit. He was like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> the, bow, the, the bow ties and everything, for sure. Oh man. Oh, so yeah, I, I would urge everyone to go out watch, watch, listen to the episode, listen to Roy. Man, look, a couple couple lines in there that he had. I don't give him away, but he had a couple of lines in there that, hey man. I'm gonna watch it for sure. He ain't wrong. I'm definitely gonna. It ain't watch right, it. but he ain't wrong. He That's all I'm gonna he say. He didn't have the same actual question he did. It's not, it ain't on Patreon. This is the actual today's episode. The, the, the actual oh. episode today, but the YouTube drops day after. So yeah. I listen to Apple Pods today. Oh, so it's on the YouTube will be tomorrow. It'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. I think an hour or two they bring them in, and it's pretty good shit. Because they have they have video too on Apple Pods, right? They don't. Oh, I know. It's like, Some it's pods like do, but they don't. Shit. Yeah, some yeah. of them do. They don't. Spotify has it for sure. No. Mm -mm. Act whole thing is video. Act 
the only ones that I've that I know on Spotify that got video are Ash and Joe Rogan. Those are the only two I know of. There are there are ones on Apple too. Shit, you did one. Yeah, you did a yeah, you did a pack one on you a murderer. That's crazy. That was a year ago. Yeah. September twelfth. Was it really? Oh wow. That's crazy. Damn. Actually, gave a fuck. I think the cons- the general concerns of PMB Rock is that he was kind of a dickhead, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm yeah. not surprised. Like, yeah, I not- mean, and, and that's true. I mean, enough time has passed to say that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have said it. The, I think I did. I probably did say it the day. I, I mean, he, yeah, he didn't really have too much of a. That don't mean he deserved to die. No, no, not at all. Died, not but at I just all. think that was the general consensus when he was here is that he was kind of a dickhead. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not surprised that people are like not jumping at the the IP PMB Rock one year since PMB Rock died. Like, yeah, no, I haven't heard of. And he wasn't much really, talk he or wasn't anybody. that big of a star either at the point. No, but he was to a certain. He had a core. Yeah, he had a core following. He had a certain sure. demographic. He of definitely people. did. Sometimes it's the people. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, and well, and he had a moment where it was looking real good for him too, like the like him because sometimes him the people you know, them, like yeah, sometimes it's the people that you know had those relationships with that kind of help you keep your shit afloat for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, and and uh, aesthetic too. Yeah, you can look like you're doing well. Oh yeah. Not to oh, say that yeah. he wasn't. I don't know, but oh yeah. I mean, when he started stealing designs of yeah, t-shirt, yeah. it was like I was like, oh, he might be struggling out here. I don't know. Bad. That was, that was crazy. bad. All right. Uh, here's the topic that we're going to talk about that I want to skip right over, but we got to talk about it because it's it, we're in Minnesota. We're in Minneapolis. Topic of the week. Carson Blue. <sighs> so I know you got thoughts, and I would love for you to get them off. So let me just say, first of all, <clears throat> Carson Blue is my friend. I love her. I think she's incredibly talented, arguably the most talented person we have here in Minnesota in, as far as uh, hip-hop goes. And – it is a secret what her profession outside of music is. I am not shocked by this video. Uh, I'm not disgusted by this video. It's her life. Let her live how she wants to. Look like she was having a blast. Look like everybody else was having a blast. I know she walked out of that spot with a big ass bag of money. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it for me. I don't, you know, I, no judgments for me. I don't, you know, do your thing. Respect, respect that's it but you on the other hand you're not you don't have the same relationship with carson and you have questions i have quite a few questions i, I would will, like to answer some of my i will keep if I, I, can. I will keep the questions at a minimum though um first and foremost i would like to say that i um i got familiar with carson blue through live on lake street and um I think that she uh, had what the hip hop community would call bars. Sure. If you will. Yep. Um, very talented young lady. Mm-hmm. Very talented. Yep. Um, it wasn't until uh, recently I got to see more of Her this vagina? Oh. person. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you will. In, that, <laughs> in the biblical sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and. Here's a question that you you may have asked her before. I don't know if it was, a, you know, maybe in public or not. But to try to manage being an artist and somebody who is in the profession of sex work, am I saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we it's call it. gotta call be. It it's work. gotta be very difficult to maneuver through that. As a young lady. Now, one big question that I have because this came to my attention the narrative is that a fist was um, inserted in a place that is unsavory. Now, I will say. For journalistic purposes, I had to confirm for myself whether or not that happened. And I am on the fence. 
I don't think it did. But the question remains: that or did that not happen? Do you do you do you think that was something? Or do you think people just wanted to exaggerate because of who it was? Cam on me. Cam on me, please. Um, so I see. I, I uh, like you said, for journalistic purposes, journalistic I did. Purposes. I did have to watch the video. Yeah. I did have to view. I did have to watch the video. Um, I wasn't mad at what I saw. No, no. no. I mean. See, I mean, if you were to see, if you were to, if you were to look up, uh, uh, stripper house party, sure. on the internet, sure, you would see the same shit. Sure. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, yeah. but yeah, I digress. I'm, yeah, I'm not, yeah. So I wasn't mad at what I saw. Mm -hmm. I did. Hey, that's that's Carson. That's my friend. Hey, Carson. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that. Hey, hello. hey, oh, oh, hey, hey, Carson. How you doing, hey, Carson? Okay. Um, and then I, you know, I did see that the, it looked like the of the screen grab that was sent to me by 70,000 people seemingly totally um it said whole hand and i'm like i'm looking for the whole hand i right. was looking for it right like let me see. impressive let's see it that's it. yeah that's a whole porn category right exactly so i'm looking for i didn't see it I didn't see. I either. didn't see any more than two fingers, as far I as I think. It's just the angle, yeah. Where people and, and is like this I a said, wild break? <laughs> I mean, it, I, I feel, I just, look, I, I just want to put. I think some, that anybody talking about, I think we have the best so far. Yeah. In in where we're at right now. I mean, now. put some respect on Carson first right, of all. Second right. of all, put some respect on her pussy. Don't be talking crazy like she's getting arm fucked like, right that's right, right. You're talking that's about people happened. all down on the elbow that's not no Put the camera on me when i do this no i don't i didn't see it i didn't see it i didn't that's, just, it that's looked, just me i didn't see it it looked like a perfectly normal vagina to me yeah she looked nice she looks good naked she's like i don't like so there's no need for um this be fifth gate no absolutely okay. not I've, and, no. and that's 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 really where I have boiled. And it down this is to. revenge porn, by the way. It is, and it's a product of hate. It is. Which how what you? I didn't see anything wrong. I mean, other than what it was happening in front of people. So usually that a whole, a whole, and that's a whole another porn category too. Yeah, it, it tends to happen with people who are envious. She didn't look. Did she look uncomfortable? No, she, she, looked, she was like, very happy. She was having a good time, yeah. right? Like. Did anybody else in the video that you saw look uncomfortable? No, I saw a lot of mouthing faces. Hell yeah. So video. what are we hating on? What who's why are we mad? Look. And it sounds like the 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 girl, I forget her name, and I wouldn't say her fucking name anyways. But who the posted girl, it? the girl that posted it, that's sending it around and having other people send it around. It sounds like she's she's like I'm giving a weapon. She's cooked. She's yeah. she's gonna be in trouble. Oh yeah. She could be facing real legal trouble. It's possible. Could be. Because that is revenge porn. You're not doing it to. And the worst part, permission. you're not really shocking anybody it's because not, it's not like she hides who she is at all. So it's like you're not shocked by anything. You're just now building up a bunch of people who like are interested in seeing her in that way now. Yeah, I, I mean, I and, and you I've brought seen, her more fans, and actually. I like the way that Carson has handled it. I haven't seen her. I, I don't I don't know how she's been handled. Well. That's she's another reason why I don't like, you know, be too jokey about yeah. it cuz some people actually that shit will send them down a, you know, a road of depression that yeah. they probably can't come back. I mean, back I, from. I personally I called her to, mm -hmm. just to ask her how she was doing. So sounds like, you know, sounds like she's doing okay. She's not happy about it. Right. Yeah. But, but she's doing okay. She'll be all right. So use it. keep making your money, use man. It. Keep Turn doing your thing. Yep. Um then, keep it, making then, waves. Then slow her down. No, she it was didn't. poolside the next day, shaking that ass and rapping it, like she's doing her thing. That's like I said, ain't nobody really exposed anything. They just gave people free content. Yep. And uh, I'm assuming she's not to give free content, so you will have to pay for that at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stop sending it to me. Stop sending it to anybody. Right. I don't know who y'all are that are sent, telling people this video. Y'all are stupid. Facts. And stop listening to other adults tell you what videos to send to other adults. And stop sending me porn. Stupid. I'll find my own point. <laughs> Post free. Yeah. Spankbang.com. All right. This episode is sponsored by spankbang.com. So anyway, shout out to Carson. Get off car. Get off Carson's dick. And uh I mean, I got nothing else for today. I mean, I don't have anything to back this up, but 
it sounds like Thames might be pregnant by future. She said five in the morning. Yeah. She looked over, seen that nigga future yawning. <laughs> he said, what's going on, baby girl? <laughs> I'm trying to get a baby in your world. <laughs> Ooh, imagine a duet between future and Tails. Boy, that's shit cold. That That'd would be, be hard. It would be hard for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. But Future is a is a dog. He a raw dog. <laughs> For sure. He's crazy. Yeah. Stop the people, man. What's wrong with you? Do you understand what's going on, man? You got I don't know what be making these dudes be like, man. Fuck it. I do. I'm just going to let it fly. You don't know? Man, fuck, man, I'm just uh, bruh. Why are these motherfuckers trying to impregnate motherfuckers so much? I don't know. That's just scary, man. Pulling out is hard sometimes. It's nice and literally nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice in there, man. It's, nice it's just nice there. and cozy, man. Yeah. It's like I'm just in my living room under a blanket drinking some cocoa. Yeah. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Wow. It's nice in there. Shout out to that, though. It's hard to get a shout out to, shout <laughs> shout out to, shout that. to that. Shout out to being comfortable in it. Hey, if any turn future around is Taz. You think? Yeah, I got faith in her. He ain't going to be hard on hoes no more? I don't think so. Oh, my God. He might start being a daddy, the Russell's baby. He might actually go and be a, a nice blended family with exactly. I can see. Could you see that? Could you see Future and Thames linking up with Sierra and Russell and having a nice like picnic? They just never stand next that's to each other in pictures and shit. <laughs> they always on the side. Why? That a hundred percent will never happen. <laughs> um, shout out to them though. If that's true, man. Uh, hope that you have a nice, uh, health and uh. But, you know, non-complicated pregnancy, man. You know, it's hard on women sometimes when they when they going through that shit. So, shout out to her, man. Yeah, I wish them the best. Um, you brought that to my attention. That's news to me. Viral video. Her post. She post, Tems posted a video. It looks like she's pregnant, and it sounds like she's dating future. The assumption is pregnant by future. Maybe it's Mario Lopez though. Get this nigga out of here. I can't stand him no more, man. I used to, I, I knew there was a reason I didn't like that motherfucker. Let me find man. out AC Slade her too. <laughs> out. AC out Slade every bitch. He's out of here, man. He is a good looking dude, though. I, hey, I, I can't lie. Pause. That's probably why I hate him, man. Nah, he's, nah, he's pretty. He said, you, you can't come around my girl. You look, you, you, you too handsome. For sure. Little no, bitch no, no. ass out. away from me. You got to go. You slick, yeah, motherfucker. You got to go. Uh, I got nothing else, man. You got anything else? Let's wrap it up. We done did like two and a half hours. I don't know. We did a lot. Bless yeah, you. We got to make uh, sick, baby. Yeah, let's get up out of here. That's it. Another episode. Uh, this is episode three. Make sure y'all come back next Wednesday. We appreciate y'all joining this Wednesday. And uh, yeah, follow us everywhere at Live on Lake Street. Follow me everywhere at Faircloth one Follow me at the GS Show on YouTube. Also follow me on my socials, man. Black GMS, B-L-A-C-K-K-G-M-S, all one word on Instagram, as well as the GM Show on Instagram as well, man. Appreciate y'all. And we'll have to wait till episode four to name the podcast because we're right. still, still ain't putting no names. In yeah. Help us out. Help us out. <laughs> All right, that's it. Yeah. Good shit.